What's going on out there, everybody? We are back with some Lego Harry Potter here tonight. I am in the free play mode. Do you think I sit in the chair? No? You want to stay here? What? Alright. Uh, it's getting heavy. Uh, how you doing, Alpha? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, just setting something up for Wendy real quick here, because again, she's refusing sleep. But we've come to expect that in this house. And I'm going to do the free play mode because... Oh god, here we go with the fucking whining. Ugh. the free play mode for this level and as you see all I need is to get the Slytherin house crust piece and then I will be able to go set up something special that's good to hear This child doesn't want to watch anything. It's amazing. I will find something for her to watch. I'm working on it, Wendy. Give me a second. Jeez. Oh, let's see. What other movies do you like? Let's see. Let's see. I'm trying to get this started here. But you know how it is with kids out there, folks. Um, we'll figure something out, Wendy. Hold on. Um, let me see. You haven't watched this one in a while. No? Okay. You want this one? Jesus, alright. We can just sit there and whine. Um, hopefully I can find this last piece and get that set and set up something special in the basement of the Leaky Cauldron there. Oh, there you go. You want to work it, Ralph? Oh, goodness me. Hi, Trek. Hey, guys. What's going on? Not much. Not much. Just trying to get something going. Oh, there we go. Big Hero 6. <laughs> you wanna watch Big Hero 6? I think that's a yes. <laughs> Wendy approves. You don't know how to work the remote. Fine. Let's go back to watching YouTube then, kid. <laughs> Alright. Be nice. We got Aaron in the chat. We got some guy in the Canadian basement. Where the fuck that is? I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, they make that Canadian basement too. I got that wrong. I'm sorry. I feel like that channel gets changed quite a bit because he's still trying to figure out how to use it. Yep. <laughs> reason? Okay. Uh, this is called Follow the Spiders. Should give Trek a the heart attack. Trek the heart attack? I thought Bob was one was afraid of spiders. Oh no, he is. I am too. So. Ah. How do you like the movie Arachnophobia? Hell no. <laughs> I watched that twice as a kid. It's like, yeah, the flaming spider at the end kind of uh, swerved me off of it. So, no, thank you. Right. 
Have you seen what was trending today there, Trap? Are you talking about the trailer that came up? Not the Mortal Kombat trailer, no. Actually, there was something else trending today that sparked quite the conversation on Twitter. Mostly MCU universe there. No, I didn't see what happened. <laughs> um... The question was asked who the better archer was, and the choices were Green Arrow, Hawkeye, Katniss, or Legolas. Who would you and think who was won? I think it would be Green Arrow. Your opinion, but it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's Levio. Oh. oh. <laughs> What's up, Connor? Oh. Stop it, Ron. Stop it. And yeah, no, Hawkeye's Hawkeye's better, clearly. Uh, actually, I'm saying Legolas. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah. I wouldn't tell Katniss, no, either. She could take me out. Right. Arrow right between the eyes. <sighs> Fucking Jennifer Lawrence. <laughs> yeah, I I agree with you there, Basement. He has ten minutes of fucking screen time, and then because that's all he needs, baby. <laughs> well, you want to hear what people are fucking bitching about with him being part of that selection? Go for what? it. People are actually sitting there complaining that they took a quote unquote disabled character and made him evil body. It's like people he wasn't born yet. Yeah, what the fu what? Uh, really, Twitter, that's all you have to complain about today? Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's where they went. It's like you realize Swear. it was his arch nemesis that created his deafness. Yep. It, well, it, <sighs> if you're not gonna pay attention to the comics, why are you gonna sit there and fucking comment on shit like this? Because they only comment when it works for them. Exactly. Like, look, you're gonna like. The thing is, you have to understand that, like, with them, with any comic adaptation of any like major superhero or whatever, you know, story. There's gonna be some give and take. There's very few that I know of that have like note for note adaptations, right. you know? So there's gonna be some like, um, you know, some give and take and some twists and stuff. Like, fuck, like, what do you call it? Ultron wasn't created by Iron Man, he was created by Ant Man, technically. And, yep. but, but in the context of, of MCU, it makes more sense that Tony and Bruce made it and then the bigger story of, and how it leads to Thanos. And I mean, it, it makes sense in terms of that. So, like, sometimes little details like that in the grander scheme of things don't really mean much, but. Ugh. Fucking people. Yeah, it's, it's, honestly, if you're not going to sit there and actually learn the backstory of these fucking heroes, but sit there and take it upon yourself to go comment on a post about them, you've lost that day. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah, I thought you were talking about the other thing that was trending about the potential possible spoiler for WandaVision, which I can already tell you is not a spoiler because I don't think that um, is going to happen. Uh, no, no I, I didn't see that. What was that? There, there was, right. without, without getting into too much, there was a suggestion that a certain actor will come back as a certain character at the end of the show and his name was trending on twitter i'm not gonna say it but um i saw the in case trending he, and it's just like hmm. it's not because he already he already said he's not reprising that role so yeah. stud total ron didn't, stop it didn't yeah. he say that he and his friend he and his friend both agreed that they were done with it after a certain movie yes yeah, okay. I love, okay, I I love how mean, vague yeah. we're being as vague as possible. Yeah. <laughs> well, Just well, in case we're wrong. Well, you know the internet like, is with spoilers, and there's nothing... Yes. Oh, we were talking about Hawkeye. He later on in the comic series actually ends up becoming deaf. Yep. And what I don't understand is the Hawkeye series that's coming out mm -hmm. for the Disney Plus Marvel Universe there, 
Why is it yes. that the, there's a woman playing as Hawkeye and not Mockingbird? I mean, they, we don't we don't know for sure if that's going to be the case yet. It's been... I think. Oh, it is. Okay, I wasn't I sure they were already. Yeah. They've already used the Mockingbird character on the Agents of the Shield. Maybe they can't use it again or something like that. I mean, hell, they have. I mean, hell, they they haven't re they have they ever actually called him Hawkeye? Yes. Yeah. When? Uh, Loki calls him Hawkeye, doesn't he? I think so. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm I'm genuinely no. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I think Loki actually calls him Hawkeye. Huh? Because I I know it's like one of those things where it's like, well, technically, Wanda's never been called Scarlet Witch. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying. I'm I'm just saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I know. Fucking Kevin Feige, the yeah. god of the world. <laughs> Believe um, me, I know. All right, you should have everything here. I went through and did all of this on my own time, just so that we would be caught up and get through to the Voldemort level that much faster. It's just those. I just couldn't find that one fucking house crest piece. To Dolby wants to fuck shit up. Yes. <laughs> and as you see here, we only have two spots left to finish off Goblet of Fire. So now is this? So wait, are you? So and, and forgive me because I, I was trying to like. So this is the whole. This is all seven. All seven series in one, right? Yes, Everything together. This is the collection yeah. Okay, that's that what I thought. Put out in 2017. Nice. Yeah. So we are going to continue story. Are there any horses that you could possibly kill in this game? Unfortunately, They're goats. No. <sighs> well, it, it automatically makes it at the at the most an eight out of ten. <laughs> oh wait. I like when you're simulating the uh, attacks attacks against the goats the other night. That game is so randomly stupid at everything that is me in in one game. Yes. Agreed. <laughs> All right. This is something I well, it's complete. spin around like a the helicopter. I think that works too. Get caught in the helicopter as well with his tongue. <laughs> so stupid of a game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm finishing oh. this right now. <laughs> Perfect. Is That's it? all the encouragement I needed. But I'm going to do some more research before we play it again. Yeah. Is it wrong that I was enjoying that more than the NXT pre-show that night? Not at all. Because we've got fucking goats. Yeah. You got long neck goat. You got uh, dapper goat or whatever it was. You got fancy demon goat. goat. You got angel goat. Hmm? There's a fancy goat. You got oh, fancy goat. Queen, goat. Thank you. And then the demon yep. goat. Dragon goat. <laughs> With that wonderful noise from Skyrim. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> and then every time you got near him, everybody just randomly break out and dance. He just hip on him off the top of the building. I actually might... I might, um... I might actually pick up the Avengers game. I know a lot of people said that they weren't really... It wasn't really that good, which I know, going into it. But I heard that they're going to revamp it for better graphics for the Xboxes. Uh, and... I don't know. It's cheap enough where I'm, I'm tempted to, to put the money down. From what I've seen, just of like little screen captures of beta testing, it looks like it could be a good game. So I don't know. I mean, we'll see. There's, I've still I still have a couple games I want to try here on the channel. Not that we're a gaming channel or anything, guys. Anyway, back to the Lego game, Harry Potter. Game. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Expecto penetratus. <laughs> <laughs> Where did the carrot go? I, I, I have to admit the well, Lego games are are always phenomenal. I've only played the I've played Lego DC, Lego Marvel, obviously, and then Lego um, Star Wars. All of them have been fantastic. Right. Have you played the Lego Indiana Jones? No. <laughs> it's actually really good. I played the demo for Lego Jurassic World. Fucking Ooh. Uh, my ass off. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds like it could be fun. Clever girl. Clever girl. Oh. <laughs> um, 
Also, okay. Try... Did you did that? Did that flame thing just? Never mind. I'm not gonna. It's it, it innuendo. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Can I get a whole oh, yeah? <laughs> hey Connor, good job on the reaction today, boy. Mm -mm. Thank you. Uh, I uh, it, it was definitely looked a lot better than the <laughs> uh, the Justice the League one. one. Yeah. Well, because I, I was better prepared. Yeah. Still, like I still was waking up, but I was somewhat better prepared. Well, plus Justice League, uh, not Justice League, Mortal Kombat doesn't hire uh, domestic abusers and little bitter ass assholes named Ray Fisher. Do 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 Jesus, that's a lot of fucking characters. That's everybody I've unlocked. Wait, why are some of them blinking? Because they have different outfits. Uh oh god damn. Now I just got horrible flashbacks to the Marvel one. So I got I actually got a funny story about the Marvel one. Okay. So I played it. I played it years ago when it first came out, the very first Lego Marvel one, and I unlocked everything, every character, every skin, and I was at like not a hundred percent, but like I think like like ninety seven. So I was pretty close. Right. So my son's friends came over and wiped out the save file. Oh no. I'm like I am going to murder all of you because <laughs> I think there was like two of them that was extremely like most of it wasn't too bad, but there was two or three like either characters or costumes that were just the biggest pain in the ass to get and. and that's uh, every Lego game that they have put out. Yep. Fuck. I was so mad. I would have been too. Mine's here back in the day when with Nintendo, the original Nintendo to turn off Zelda to keep yourself. You had to press the reset, then you had to push the power, then you had to stop the reset off. Or like that. We lost so many games because we screwed it up. God, I miss memory cards. Yeah. Hey, man, I got this game. Come over. Yeah, fuck it. I got the memory card. No fucking way. <laughs> I miss the cheat codes you could, have, that you could put on the memory cards. You remember the cheat I miss codes? The game genie. You, oh my god. Do you remember the cheat codes that were at the back of the gaming magazines? Yes. Yep. And you have to go like alphabetical order by system? Yep. Oh god. I would but sometimes have... purposely like write them down as I was like at a <laughs> like a CVS or something right. and then write them down like <laughs> I gotta remember this, I gotta remember this. They used to have the uh that in the in the game pro i think when uh was it no mercy came out there's a was it no mercy no mercy it came out i think it was no mercy that came out i remember it's like it's been a while since i've been a while since i played that game but it was like game pro and it was like one of the big WWE games and they had like a bunch of uh cheat codes in there too yep ah <sighs> cheat codes Shit, man, I still remember the Game Genie like we were talking about. Holy shit. I'm gonna go sit on the couch. I, the I actually... The, the Game I Shark beat. that would make it heat like three times the size of the fucking Game Boy. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I, beat Nin I beat Ninja Turtles to the arcade game using the Game Genie one full afternoon. Damn. Andy, that is enough. <laughs> hmm. I actually did have a notebook full of, um... Cheat codes that I got back in uh, high school for Mortal Kombat. Oh man, the fatalities and in... I always try to get the fucking fatalities in Mortal Kombat. Oh, hold on. <laughs> yeah, the, those were the hot things, and then um, when there was Killer Instinct, the one big move that everyone wanted to use was the girl was the one where the girl rips her shirt open, flashes the guy. So every time that she flashed a different guy, he would die. And if she flashed herself, she was by herself. The other one would stomp her foot and just walk away or something. You were excitedly specific about that moment just now, Trek. Yeah. That's on YouTube, man. You can find that on YouTube. <laughs> of course, you that's can. all over the place. <laughs> Saved under my favorites. Um, no, I just I just remember like Mortal Kombat being. Uh, the one where like you try to get the really cool kill and then all of a sudden you just like look like you're flailing angrily in front of them and they <laughs> pass out because you can't fucking i hit start i don't know why i hit the start button i hit the start button i hit triangle i don't want to fucking not let me fucking do this one with the fucking thing <laughs> and the only way you knew is when you hear dun 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 like, yes and I remember those fatalities got all the parents all pissy. They're like, that's elite. That shouldn't be for my kids. I'm like, your kid's not supposed to be playing the damn game anyway, so shut up. 
I mean, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I did too, man. I thought it was awesome, but that's why the that's why the video game rating system was started because the parents had a bitch fit about it. I could have swore the video game rating system started because of Duke Nukem and. The well, that was part of it, but it was mainly they used Mortal Kombat as the main excuse, though. Okay, I'm googling this shit now. Let me see why. Yeah. Why, why did? Because it was on um, E and on. If you watch Six Foot Six, he's talked about it too. I'm afraid that I when I typed in Google and I typed the phrase "Why did?" the very first autocorrect oh, is no. "Why did?" Why did the penis cross the road? But I'm gonna oh, ignore no. that right now. Um, Facebook got the hold of your, or Bob got the hold of your computer again, Danny. I mean, well, both of them did. Yeah, at this point. <laughs> um, here we go. So, the ESRB rating board uh, was established in 1994 in response to criticism over controversial video games with excessive violence and sexual content, particularly after the following releases of Mortal Kombat, Night Trap, and Doom. <laughs> ah, I didn't what the hell is Night Trap? I have no idea. Oh, I've heard Doom of Night was, Trap. Doom was fucking awesome. I had the first three, the first four on my PC back in the day. I mean, I Doom is so like really do well. Okay, I mean, yeah, I mean that's pretty much the premise of it. But I mean, and Mortal Kombat, I sort of get that too. But yep, Melina, Katana, and Jade, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. I mean, I know this is going to sound really stupid, but Mortal Kombat was probably the most realistic out of all of those. Yep. Um, September 1st, 1994. Yeah, that's funny. That's interesting. Why? Because Mortal Kombat is extremely graphic. <laughs> now you look at it today and it's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's still graphic, Hold on. but it's not as bad. Yeah. I remember Grand Theft Auto when that game once where you could actually have sex with much. Yep, San well, Andreas, yeah, hot coffee. It, I just found out, I'm like, I just looked at this and said, like, the highest rating on a game is AO. Adults only. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to see what games. Yep, yeah, that's the only one that I can see. Well, no, there's a. Wow, actually, one more. Playboy the Mansion Private Party. Why are none of. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Exchange. Wet the sexy. Am oh, I mean, come on. <laughs> These games are fucking. <laughs> Wasn't Conquer's Bad Fur Day one of them too? Uh, no. That one got it. That one got an M rating. Although, I mean, all nude cyber. Okay. <laughs> Can't imagine nowadays, why. Nowadays, you just look up all nude mod. It's like Tomb Raider, Mortal Kombat. Everything pops up on YouTube. But there's nothing. Hold on. I'm trying to see what the latest game that has an AO rating on it. Seduce me. Alright. Like Wonder what that's about. That's the <laughs> next uh, group game, folks. You fuckers! Um... <laughs> God damn. Motherfucker! And Basement Mother. just said in the chat that Mortal Kombat was supposed to have John Claude Van Damme in it. But they couldn't afford his likeness. I do yep, believe and that. Was, and he was supposed to be in the movie is him but i think that he was busy doing something else i'm here to chew ass and kick gum <laughs> <laughs> i'm all out of gum i remember bruce campbell was like i think they stole some of my lines he's like they did a good job doing it though i was laughing pretty much Wait, one of the Grand Theft Auto games was rated AO? Oh, yeah. San okay. Yeah. San Andreas after they had that whole controversy, I guess. Yeah. Cyber photographer? Jesus. Okay. I'm not even. Yeah, I feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole that I shouldn't be going Yeah, down. it's a pretty <laughs> deep one, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was some channel out there that had like a bunch of them. It said just like um, games that were too dark for their own good or something like that. It pops up every once in a while. Harry po Lego Harry Potter rated AO. <laughs> well, if you saw the bathroom scene, it might as well have been. It looked like he was wearing a sumo diaper. Moaning, what is it? Moaning Myrtle? <laughs> yep. Oh, no. I mean, I don't... 
I feel like a lot of guys would be very squeaky clean if that if that was a if that was an option. Right. <laughs> There's not a single trace of BO in this entire establishment. Why? Well, it might nice be a female a ghost. Nice bathroom. That's all we're gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Talk it say? Call getting... Why does it say "call me" on the side of the bathroom? Talk about getting the shit scared out of you. I mean, if there's any place to do it. Right. <laughs> All right. Next. One hundred yards. One hundred yards to the outhouse by Willie Makeup. Gee, I wonder where she go. Maybe that green arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Da, 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 da. Oh, we can go outside and play. With a carrot. <laughs> That's one of the things I fucking love about this game. Is you can sit there and do the disguises and all of that. <laughs> Want some beta carotene? <laughs> We were talking about Mortal Kombat earlier with the AO thing, or where was the M, the M, or I can't remember, it was right, I think it was right, M. And it was like, it reminds me of the 95 movie, those were $500 sunglasses, asshole. This is oh, where yeah. you fall. I'm like, they had the longer one in the, in the novel, novel, he actually was uh, trying to help Goro and Goro, so that guy I'm fucked away, he just fell off by himself. So when I did the trailer reaction, I'm like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna get on and, you know, whatever, and then I'm like, Man, what was the like? Oh, the last one was like 2005, and I looked it up. I'm like, holy shit, was I way the fuck off? 97. Yeah, I'm like, God, yeah. I feel old I, as hell now. I oh, you feel old? I saw that the first weekend. And I'm ashamed. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> as like I said, everybody goes, "Where's Raiden?" And I'm like, if you're, I think there's an interview with Chris. I'll try and link it to you guys later. Uh, Lambert, somebody interviewed him in the con. Cause he was super nice. He's doing autographs. Like, why weren't you in Mortal Kombat 2? He goes, "Did you read that script?" He's I like, mean, "Did you see that movie?" He goes, "Yeah." He goes, "Yeah." Go. But he's like, "Serious?" He goes, "He's like, my agent showed me that." He goes, "Dude, they gotta change this by Monday." And he's like, "This is the locked in script." He's like, "I can't do this. This is garbage." He's like, "Nothing gets people were in it. The people who made it, but that script was terrible." Jesus Christ! I never remember this part being in the fucking books or the movies. You're flying a pumpkin? No. No. Come on, get it. Get it. There we go. Get it. Hey. <laughs> Mortal Kombat <laughs> Annihilation was the only movie where I've been pissed Swim off. To me. Five minutes into the movie, they killed Johnny Cage. Right, you fucking morons. Well, they had to do something. Uh, fucking, yeah. can you imagine just like watching the Harry Potter movie. It's like, hey man, you remember <laughs> Cedric when he got fucking killed? Yeah. He'd make a great Batman. Right. <laughs> fucking weird times we live in. Well, I'm willing to give it a shot. Hey, I'm just glad we're getting uh, Keaton back. And I, I, what I'm hearing, Nicholson's coming back as the Joker I now. I was just going to say, Jack Nicholson is <sighs> going to come back just because Michael Keaton's there. Yep. That's going to be some good shit then. And then they hear Keaton's going to be in. Keaton's gonna be in future movies from now on, saying up a possible Batman Beyond. I like, just tell me when the fuck and where. I will go watch that movie five times. <laughs> one yeah, man who one calls movie. himself Trickopedia waiting outside movie theater, <laughs> even though it is currently closed. <laughs> I'll be outside my theater. Ken's like, "Hey, Brendan, what's going on? Yeah. Batman Beyond?" I'm like, "Yes." I'm beyond tired because I've been sleeping here for three days. <laughs> right. I can't. I ain't like that. I guess he's gonna start up. The rumors he's gonna start up being a mentor to um, Batgirl, and that's how they're gonna kick the door open. I'm like, dude, it's Keaton. I don't care. And then we also get um, I Batman really '89 comics. I mean, Michael Keaton was the best Batman. Oh yes. And then Batman '89 comic book and Superman '78 comic book. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll put my money down right now. My uh, sure. my favorite, I think my favorite scene with Keaton as Batman was. Not really one that was supposed to be serious, but to me was absolutely hysterical. It's the beginning of Batman Returns when, like, they signal the bat signal and it, like, goes around the, the mansion and it, like, it yeah. just happens to shine in his room. <laughs> and he just does that, like, gene like the like the cocky superhero, like, look up. Who, okay, who did he hire to specifically yeah. set up that arrangement 
and they weren't any the wiser. <laughs> yeah, I just I, I'm really a big fan of bats. Can you do me a favor? If something happens, can you just like trigger it around the whole place so that it hits the this specific spot? Why? Yeah. Um, sure, well, I figured I'd get the most- I, I figured I'd get the most attention of it. No, but, but why bats? <laughs> I mean, no- are you bat- no, no. <laughs> are you- no, I'm not- no! I'm no, not my Batman! Bu no, no, my butler likes it. Yeah, yeah, it fucking blame Alfred. <laughs> so in the new, um, in the new, uh, Batman 89 comic book, the Joker- one of the Jokers will be modeled after Prince to say thank you for all he did for them. Really? Yeah. Cause huh. you can find the the drawings online and they and I guess that um uh Bullock will be introduced find a everything. On the <laughs> I'm on it. Mm. Um by the way, I just to talk about Harry Potter and, and shift gears for a second just because I thought about this. Have either of you guys seen the what is it, the myth mythical beasts or whatever it is, Fantastic I Beasts? Have. Is okay, I, I I'm not a hardcore Harry Potter person. I like the movies. I read the books. I enjoy it. I'm not like super into. So it's it's a prequel, right? Like try yes. to break it down for a simpleton yep. like me. Yes, it is the prequel, and it's basically what leads up to the with like the crimes of Grindelwald and all that. What leads up to what's going on, and it just gives you more backstory to Hogwarts and everything else there. It's world building. Yes. Okay, that's what I figured it was. I was a little. I'm like, it seems like it's a prequel side story, and it feels like they're building up the wizarding world, which does make sense. It looked interesting, and it wasn't that I wasn't like completely, but I was just like, eh. I'm also a lazy fuck, so <laughs> <laughs> there's there's that too. It's not that you're a lazy fuck. You're a dad. <laughs> just Again, it. it's just. It, <laughs> You're speaking synonyms here, Heather. Synonyms. <laughs> synonyms. Well, that's okay. Once, once every, uh, once WWE Network goes to Peacock, then we'll have everything in one place. We can just watch Harry Potter and uh, Fantastic Beasts anyway, because they'll all be on Peacock. There's so many fucking streaming services now. It is insane. It's gonna get to a point where it's just like fuck it. It's gonna be cheaper to get it. Yep. I mean, it's it's gonna be the same shit. It is gonna be <laughs> the same shit, but you know I what? mean, it's gonna be two hundred dollars instead of fucking eight hundred dollars for each yep. streaming service. And I mean, some of them have to like, how many of them have repackaged twice now? Twice, uh, HBO. I know, yeah, HBO's done it once. CBS has done it once. I mean, Jesus Christ. HBO Max is gonna have to do is haven't they realized they fucked up now because they have to do a. Ad supported tier that's coming up for like ten bucks. I'm like, yeah, maybe it wasn't a smart idea to go sixteen bucks a month, huh? Fuck that! No way. Uh -uh. Sorry, like, not worth it. it. <laughs> no. And then you know the ad, you know the ad supported tier is not going to have everything on it. They're gonna block stuff out. It's gonna be all the good stuff too. Well, yeah. So that's what they do. Yep. It's. I wonder if they're kicking themselves because it would have just been easier to go. If they had DC Universe, they shut that down for HBO Max. They should have just made HBO Max first and made DC Universe a subsidiary of it. Well, the problem, Trek, is that uh, what, what happened was when Disney... Pl so, Netflix, obviously, huge success. Hulu, I yep. thought, was a pretty decent success before it got bought out, obviously. And then... Then you had like Amazon roll out their stuff, and then now di when Disney started getting on the fray, everyone started paying attention to be like, "Oh, that's where directions going with with stuff now. It's all based off streaming stuff." So, yep. what they what they all tried to do was they all tried to how the fuck did you know where that golden brick was? <laughs> <laughs> I followed the light. <laughs> fucking hell! The yellow brick road. I just I just sorry I got fucking Marvel Lego flashbacks <laughs> to find these fucking things, and I'm like ah, PTSD. Um. So, the fuck was I going with this? Oh, but so they, so all the stream, all these like subsidiaries tried to capitalize on their own library. But the problem is, a lot of them don't have a strong enough library enough to warrant people to sign up for it. So they have content, but not enough depth in the content to 
warrant people to want to hop onto it. So that's why you had DC like, oh, we'll start our own. And then it's like, well, we're fucked. What's uh, what's what's our next biggest company? HBO? Okay, fuck. Let's merge everything together. CBS, same thing. Oh, fuck. We can't really do CBS on our own because nobody loves Star Trek or Patrick Stewart. Listen, I love Patrick Stewart, but I don't know him that much. Yeah. Um, you know, let's combine it with Paramount. That way we get Nickelodeon involved with it too and, and all the other ones. Um and, and just they're they're trying to like fortify their bases. So that's really what's what's going on is that now they're all realizing this is the wave of the future and just trying to capitalize on it as best as they can. NBC, same thing. Um in fact that's why I said with WWE selling the network to, to them, I think that was one of the smartest moves they could have done, to be honest yep. with you. Wait, as far they as they got the a billion dollars for it. <laughs> Yeah, good for them. Well, Jesus. Holy shit. And then, it's with the, what pissed me off about DC Universe was they announced DC Universe to get this big old rollout, but it only does it domestically. Then two months later, they say HBO Max, and they're like, what about DC Universe? He goes, oh, we'll do that when they can get to it. I'm like, you pretty much shot yourself in the foot, and you pretty much just pissed off every comic book fan you had. And then they wonder why people are pissed. Basement just said, I remember Blockbuster Nights. Man, Blockbuster was the shits. Oh. I think there's still... There's still there one still... or two left. <laughs> yep. Is there? I was just about to Google it. Yep. Yep. I remember... Uh, Austin Creator, sorry, Xavier Woods. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Whatever his name uh, is at the moment. When they did a live show up in Alaska. Those fuckers drive me nuts. Uh, they did a live <laughs> show and they took a picture in front of the last remaining blockbuster. So I just googled Blockbuster and it said like you know it has like a little thing on the side like about the company. It says number of employees in 2004, 84,300. 2010, 25,000. 2019, three. Yeah, <laughs> three. Did you um, hear about the me... blockbuster that turned itself into a bed and breakfast? I, I'm yes. Okay, yeah. Yes, I have. Um. Oh wait, there's an actual documentary about it. Yep. I've oh, there's everyone's. Everyone's done like stuff about blockbuster up and down on YouTube. Like, there's one guy who does a show called The Band, and then he talked all about blockbuster and its history and stuff. It's actually really good. I also remember renting video game systems from Blockbuster. Specifically, PlayStation and N64. Yep. Oh, God, those are the days. That God damn. No worries. Just play video games all day. Games all day. Heck yeah. Then you grow up and become an adult. Fucking bills. Yep. <laughs> Well, and then Blockbuster goes belly up because the late fees got to be too much. Well, it was a combination, I think, of well, that and just, like, the direction of where Everything entertainment was going. was going. Yeah, they couldn't really Netflix, keep up. I mean, Netflix essentially is what killed Blockbuster. Yeah, because, I mean, Netflix was doing essentially what Blockbuster was at first, just straight to your home. Yeah. Yep. Jesus. And the guy who created Netflix created it because he was getting raped on late fees. I think he had one for Apollo Apollo 13, and then like they got him on late fees. He goes, "Fuck this shit! I'm gonna do this." And then basement just and then he... oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead, Jerry, Sorry. He said, um, in that abandoned thing, they even said that we offered we offered for Blockbuster to buy us out. They laughed in our faces and said, "Well, we did. Be, we'll be dead within a year." My like, well, jokes on them. Yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? His basement just said he used to work at a local. Um, he he used to work at a local uh, like block like a home video store like Blockbuster. Right. And it's funny because so, so did I. And it was interesting that like, man, just I miss that. I miss I miss like the simplistic times of that. And although it was weird because we did have so <laughs> the one I used to work at was was local, obviously. So you get all the locals. And the problem is, is that our town was so small back then. You you knew almost everybody in town. Yep. So yeah. when they went to go into the back section, 
the black <laughs> curtain section, yep. yeah. it was a little awkward to see them at your <laughs> local market basket the next, or, uh, you know, grocery store the next day. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. Don't forget to return Big Tits 5. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't want you to incur that late fee. It's like Randall and Clerks when you green off all the adult films. And make sure. What? Wait, wait, whoa, 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 <laughs> wait, whoa, wait. Whoa, wait a minute, where'd that come from? Certain keywords in my ADD brain <laughs> trigger a complete full stop. And I believe those had, those were the right combination of words. Um, but uh, make sure you rewind. Please be kind and rewind. Be kind, rewind. Fucking yeah, get charged we... not rewind the fucking thing. Yeah, we still have one um, local video store here in town called Costa Video, and they're like huge in town. I mean, because their family owns it, run and stuff, and they have a bar and stuff. And they're, I mean, they pretty much cornered the market because nobody else is around. So, what would you say is out of out of the '90s? I'm just gonna throw the '90s out there just because that's my childhood mostly. What would you say is? What would you say is the one? If you had to narrow one thing you really miss from the 90s, it, it can be, you know, something like, uh, it can be like, uh, you know, like something like a, a, like a store or something like Blockbuster or a movie moment, something. But what do you, what would you say you miss the most from the 90s? Actual good television. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Fair enough. I mean, yeah, it was not. Back then, people were actually creative. Mm -hmm. And we had shows that actually had imagination. Now it's just like, oh, let's just make a reality show. You know, yeah. Because they're cheap. Not only cheap, it's just for a lazy society. Yep. It's either a reality show or we make everything turn to shit. Yeah. I mean, for me, it'd be that I miss the. I'm, I'm like Heather, I miss the good television, but I miss like Fox Kids and Disney Afternoon Kids Every Week because they had fun shows on there on the weekly afternoons, whereas now you turn on and it's like talk shows and reality TV like Heather said because everybody's run out of ideas and they're cheap to do. I think like anticipation or like not instant gratification is what I miss. Yep. Because yep. I, I think that like some of the things that I really enjoy... Oh, this is getting into hentai porn, isn't it? <laughs> mm-hmm. And what's up, uh, Aru and... Uh, heist. Heist. What's going on, guys? Hey, um, what's up, guys? But, like, I feel like... Oh, oh, nope, nope, no more hentai? Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, Basement just said it best. Made things mean more when you had to wait for it. Like, right. Y like... I remember, like, just anticipation over, like, I, I mean, now you see, like, I'm, I'm getting all over the place because I'm fucking, my mind's all over the place. Yeah. But, like, if you saw, like, a commercial for something, right, or a teaser for something, you would, you'd be like, what the fuck? And you wouldn't be able to go back and, like, play it back and, like, you wouldn't be able to, like, dissect it and really, like, like obsess over it as much as before, but, right. like, really, like, you wouldn't see trailers until you went to the movies. Yeah. And you'd have to, and we had people back when it was the Star Wars trailer, people call in to see which movie it was on to make sure they could come at that time to see the Star Wars Episode 1 trailer. And then they would actually leave and, and they'd want them right back or they'd just leave and say, I saw my thing. I'm like, okay. Ooh, Aru said Toys R Us. Fuck. I missed that too. Uh, and KB. Back. Yep. Okay, I heard. Okay, so f f couple things. First off, I actually just passed by my like childhood Toys R Us. That's like two towns over from me, and it's gone obviously. And I almost fucking cried because like, fuck, man. Two, um, I heard some rumors about that. What's going on with Toys R Us? They're basically going to be doing. Yeah, I, I predicted that when they first said that they're going out. My mom and I talked about it gets Amazon. It's going to go right online. She goes, I think you're right. So, Fuck. I got something right. There you go. God oh, yeah. damn it. I actually miss... Uh, I'm true on my age. I actually miss Raw vs. Nitro. 
I mean, that, that kind of goes with it, too, like, the anticipation of, like, the point I'm making is, like, like, no internet. Because even though as great as the internet is, obviously, with... <laughs> don't shut us down, YouTube. Um, <laughs> as great as the internet is, um, you know, I feel like it, it makes everything... everything so complicated. Complicated and instant gratification. Like, you... You you have now everything at your disposal. You, well, unless you want a PS5, uh, <laughs> you you can get almost anything you want instantly. And while that is a great convenience in a lot of ways, I miss like the anticipation of waiting for something or those things that you would mail away for. It's like, well, it could take two to four weeks for delivery, yep. and like just the anticipation of it. Fucking, I don't know about you guys, but and I don't know if it's because this last Christmas was just like because of fucking COVID and stuff. But, like, the anticipation for Christmas was fucking awesome. Like, it just was. the weight and the build-up and everything. And, yeah, I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like simplistic, uh, everything being simplistic. And, by the way, I don't know who said it earlier in the chat. Um, Clerks is a great movie. I fucking it's love fun. Clerks. It, yeah. it really is. I think Kevin Smith is um, highly underrated as far as his... Um, uh, as far as his uh, directing and, and uh, movie making skills, he's working on the Masters of the Universe series with uh, Kevin Conroy and Mark Hamill for Netflix. And when somebody brought up, um, ooh, that, 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 that I'm I'm down for that. That there's rumor that uh, well, he said it was more than a rumor. He said bet on it. If it was stock, you should buy in uh, Batman the Animated Series returning. He said that's gonna. Re he said next year will be the year of Batman the Animated Series, and the HBO Max wants it really bad. I'm like, I think Batman Beyond's coming back with it too. And I, I think wouldn't he, touch I think, that. I wouldn't touch that shit to be honest with you. I think it's because uh, they went off without conclusions. I think especially Batman Beyond was supposed to get more seasons, and they cut it off for Just League. So I think people people wanted more and there's the the empty space for more okay well then do a special and end them don't i don't yeah no, damn I it know, but i don't i, I don't know, want shit like that continuing on because uh, it's know, bittersweet because th those shows were great but like at the same time it's like uh, like i i fear that it's the same thing like when, when animaniacs was announced they were coming back right i was yeah really mixed and i i don't hate the new ones it's just it's really hard to recreate the magic of some of the stuff before and that yeah, goes for a lot of really. things you know well that's um, what scares me about tiny tunes returning too i guess that's returning they're not gonna have Myra because people were complaining and saying she's too cruel on the show yet that she was on there for that was like her whole and nobody exactly. gave a shit back then, but everybody's everybody's a Karen now. And they're like, "Oh, you can't show that. That's too cruel to handle." It's like, shut the fuck up. Heather, did you just sacrifice a friend of yours into that giant <laughs> clan thing, uh, or did I like not pay attention? Harry Potter trying to put a pearl into that clan's mouth, but I got sucked into the magic. She pulled a Batman sixty six, folks. There's a lot you're, of anal, there's a lot of weird shit going on in this game. You're gonna get you're gonna get you're gonna get your friend Robin by a giant clam. Actually, that's that drink with me. Yeah. Swear to me. Swim with me. <laughs> Swim with me. Um, but no, like, when 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 the problem is is that nostalgia nostalgia is fantastic, and it's funny when you go back and you look at stuff that you love, um, and you remember for how good it was and how pure it was. And the problem is, is that there's so much lack of originality right now as far as creating new forms of entertainment that specifically tv shows and movies obviously that right. you know they're like oh let's go to the well that definitely worked back then <laughs> and the hype of this thing you like is coming back being they're, they're pretty much banking on that most of the time um well, oh, oh that looks like basements right i mean that's the, going on. You saw yep yeah, I, I mean, the, the thing with superheroes, too, though, and that, that's that's kind of a double-edged sword, too, because on one hand, you're absolutely right. On the other hand, comics have exploded so much now, both Marvel and DC, that there are a shit ton of stories that you can still tell with similar characters and still be, quote-unquote, fresh, if that makes sense. However, this is Hollywood, and they are not going to do those stories. Uh, no, I, I, well, 
They won't do- if they do, they won't do them on a bigger scale than they deserve. Like, I really want a Red Hood movie, but they're not gonna do it. But anyway, um, but no- She, they're supposedly that she's gonna be in something coming up, and I've heard mixed, like somebody said, Amelia Clark. I've heard Alexandra Daddario. I've heard all sorts of actresses tossed around. I mean, shit. If, if you want, if you, I mean, I mean, they might do one for HBO Max. You never know. Yep. Well, Constantine's getting rebooted for HBO Max too now. Wait, which one? The DC uh, one or gonna, the Keanu the, Reeves one? The DC one. They're gonna reboot it. They're gonna ignore everything else. I'm sorry, the Keanu Reeves one was fucking awesome. I don't care what yeah. anybody says. Well, um, supposed to be doing, he wants a sequel, and I thought they were doing the sequel, and now it's, like, stuck. Well, again, it's, it, it's again, one of those things where it's, like, like I was saying with the Batman stuff, you, do you want to keep going? Do you, do, you, do you really want to keep going where this goes and put it in the hands of people who may not have the same passion and drive? Um and creative thought to it that it might water down what you once loved you know and that's really the whoa jesus let's zoom in on ron's face um <laughs> pretty much fucking so the, like that's that's the thing with like the batman animated series and batman mm -hmm. beyond i will swear up and down that batman the animated series is hands down the best batman show ever produced i'll i'll second that i mean i i'm particularly I have a particularly bias to Batman Beyond, but we wouldn't have Batman Beyond unless we had Batman the Animated Series. Right. Jesus, you unlocked a lot, Heather. Um, but I, I don't want it to continue. Give me, give, give me a movie. Like, if you want to, like, wrap shit up, that's fine. Give me a movie. Give me a special, like, like the Return of the Joker thing they did for Batman mm -hmm. Beyond. Give me oh, something like that. that. Give me something like that. Wrap up what you want to wrap up in a nice little bow as best as you can, um, with probably everybody fucking dying, and then, <laughs> and then, boom, done. Don't don't like do. Um, what's a great example that they did this with? Fucking Invader Zim and Rocco. They did the two yep. specials with Invader Zim and Rocco. I thought that they weren't perfect, but as far as giving, like, it, it was a good closure. mix. It was a good mix of like sort of closure. Acknowledging the fandom, fan base, bringing back things you liked, bringing in new people to kind of look into it, and then just done. Boom, boom, cut the cord, done. We're good. Yeah. Like that was, that's the way to go, in my opinion, with these things. Don't fucking, oh, we got two more seasons of the show from the fucking 60s. Yeah, let's bring back Golden Girls and do a fucking current version. Although Betty White, I mean, mm. they tried that with Hot in Cleveland, kind of it. Depending they, who they can. It didn't work. I see a sexy bear in this chat. Oh. Is that bear who used to work at a video store in Canada? I think it might be deaf. Yeah. It or mute. <laughs> ah, there you go. <laughs> it speaks. It was a big what? chain. It was, <laughs> it was a big baby? chain, and, and I burned it down. <laughs> it's a big chain like, that I just hit everyone with it. Walk out with a gumball machine. <laughs> and like a hundred Blu-rays. Like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the problem with the the problem with the Batman Beyond thing is they did the finale and it was on Just League Unlimited. There was epilogue explained everything. People still want more because there's no. pieces missing between the thing. But the thing is, if they hadn't canceled it for Justice League, they would have gotten more. And who knows if people would have gotten sick of it by the end of it. So, so basement, I heard that our discussion and conversation were tickling your fancy. I'm tickling my nutsack. Uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> with, with what the truck was saying. I mean, look at what uh, Disney did with Star Wars, right? They they mm -hmm. went into like doing certain stories that didn't need to be told, and giving like filling the gaps for things that really didn't like. How did the Death Star get destroyed? Or how did Han Solo become Han Solo? Nobody really gives a f flying shit. Sometimes yeah. not <laughs> not knowing I mean. is better. Yeah. <laughs> Like, do we really need to, like, like there's certain nooks and crannies of Star Wars that I, like, I'm genuinely interested in the Obi-Wan one. Like, mm -hmm. that, that, okay, I can, I can buy it, but, like, I don't want to solo, no, like, no. Nobody wanted that, like, uh, nobody wanted not solo. Enough. Yeah, there's, and nobody, once it came out, nobody cared for it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh there's, a, there's a Chewbacca terrible, series, let's, let's go crap. check that out, like, what the fuck? Yeah. They keep, like, going, like, in all honesty, Star Wars 
stop. They, they, don't, they don't really need to focus on the past unless you're gonna go way back. Way back before any of these fucking people that were in the original Star Wars. Apparently that's Liam, the plan. The give me a Liam public. Neeson. Give me a Liam Neeson only Star Wars movie. I will be fucking stoked. God, you know how many, you know how many cuts are gonna happen in that movie? <laughs> he, he walks three steps, like 80 cuts. <laughs> You're doing it, Liam. I have a very particular set of Jedi skills. Well, he even said he doesn't know how much longer he's gonna do actual. Because he said it was. I think it was when he was doing the one with uh, Taylor Lautner, and he and he was winded doing the actions for that one. And he said he can't do this much longer either. So you better use him on Obi Wan if you can, because he may just retire before we know it. Well, you see, the problem I mean, is he's doing he's all these fucking action movies when he's 80 million years old. Yeah, I know. I think he's like <laughs> almost, he's like 55 or 60 yeah. or something, right? He I mean, <laughs> come on, the action movies he's doing are like chopped to bits. Yeah, he so, like, said though that he's, he knows he's got to retire soon. He's like, I'm having fun now, but he goes, but I can't do it forever. He goes, in a couple years, I'm done. He said well, he might he even be done to, now. Like, drama, drama movies or something. I like think, Star Wars? I think after yeah. his wife passed away, he just wanted to do to do more stuff just to fill the void. She was taken from him. Yeah. And now he's got a particular set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. He, like, uh, he had his heyday. He had like a good five yeah. to ten years of resurgence as uh, an action star. But uh, I don't care to see anything with him in it anymore. <laughs> but yeah, like. Like I was telling Connor and Heather that um that the report is that Batman the animated series Batman Beyond they're coming back next year and the thing is that um people want Superman and the animated series because my to come back it was supposed to come they were all supposed to come back for more season but with Justice League coming up it was split the teams they, they didn't want to do that so they just cancel them all outright it's like well, I think there's something to be said about leaving leaving stuff on the table and not running into the ground because who knows if those shows had gone on too long and they would have pissed people off said these things are crap now it's like, I don't think they would have but you always run that risk I think there's just so many other properties that are exist in the um, in the comic book world that they kind of need to give them time to breathe and move away from the old faithfuls because I don't want I don't really give a fucking flying shit to see some of the like another Batman and another Superman it's like Give it time to breathe. Give it time for people to actually like miss it. They won't before you do it. Know, they won't. <laughs> yeah, but no, like that. But look how long it's taken for the Flash to get up and running on the movie screen. Now we finally got some traction with uh, Keaton and, the Flash and Nicholson around. coming back, and then now it's all now it's all stuck again because COVID but, because some little idiot is mad because he got written out of the movie. Hold on, Nichols. It, what, what is this movie? Is it Nicholson, animated or is it like no? This real? live action. It's like he's gonna. Okay, so, Nicholson is coming back. You realize that guy Joker. is pretty much a human blob. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> with, a, with a devilish smile. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, you know what? I, he's going to go to the LA Lakers game with a Joker makeup. Film me now. I'm ready. Give me give me Jack Nicholson dressed as the Joker from the Batman movie, but the character of um what's his name? Frank Jack from Torrance. uh from um fucking Departed. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, I can get behind that. Fucking that, think, that guy's great. like fucking super old, and I don't think he's able to move. So it, it's gonna be, uh, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be Joker with uh, a Lakers jersey on. It's probably just gonna be like five minute cameo because, it, like Heather said, he's coming back because Keith's coming back, which I love. But it's gonna be like five minute cameo, and they'll like pimp it out, and it's like, it'll be like, okay, Nicholson's back, that's what we care about, and that's fine. It's like, we gotta shoot him from the neck up. <laughs> Get him on face cam. Well, I still love that he was the, he was the smartest person in the world because he didn't ask for an increase in salary. He asked for points on the back end. He asked for merchandise and stuff. Like he was the first one to do that when eighty nine came out. It's like holy shit. He he was the smartest person in the room. I don't like the thing is too. I, I don't like I, I I can leave things where they existed. I know like the the popular thing now is to like fucking mine the memory banks of everybody and nostalgia porn for life. But I mean, there's a, point, there's a point in time where it's like, is it nostalgia for money's sake, or is it nostalgia for like actual paying homage? I don't know. I don't even it's know. nostalgia's well, sake. When the Flash movie comes out, we're about to find out. 
I mean, it gets Keaton back in, it gets Keaton back on the screen, which I'm happy about. I mean, like Heather said, he is the best Batman ever. And if it leads to a Batman Beyond live action movie, I'm all because he yeah. won't let them ruin that. He'll be smart about it. You haven't seen Cedric Diggory as Batman yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> you never. <know. laughs> At this point, we may have to wait another five years because apparently this is like something keeps happening. Oh, yeah. Fucking COVID nineteen Batman. I want um I want uh what's his name? Uh as Batman. Oh my god. I'm trying to remember his name. Um Paul Rubens. Oh good lord. Well he was Penguin's father in Batman Returns. And in Gotham. In Gotham. Mm -mm. Yep. <laughs> what do you guys think about speaking of Burton? What do you think about the uh Wednesday Adams show he's gonna do? I shared that to Heather the second I fucking found that. <laughs> oh, it's God. it's Tim Burton, it's Miles Millar, and it's Alfred Ghost. You got uh, Batman and the guys who did small like this is either gonna be really, really good or it's gonna be the biggest fucking shit show in the world. Mm -hmm. well, it's like and I, I think it might Connor, be the latter. <laughs> it's like I told Connor, it all depends on who they have playing oh. as Wednesday. If she is not as any near as good as fucking Christina Ricci. Christina was, Ricci. Yep. Then I'm not gonna have an interest. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna hold my breath for that one, to be honest. Because what? there's been so many iterations of the Adams family, and I think like they kind of belong now in the animated universe more so. Well, than now the they're universe. they're supposed to get do a new live action version. When that's gonna happen, I don't know. It's supposed to be on. Because Netflix. why do we? Yeah, I mean the, it's how? because to me, John Aston and Raul Julia were the best Gomez Adams ever. Yeah. Raul Julia was awesome. I'm gonna say awesome. uh, they need to get bring back fucking Beetlejuice with Michael Keaton. That's what I want to yes, say. That's, yes, that that's, supposedly that's gonna happen. Then they keep saying no, it's just rumors. Like, but Keaton Keaton keeps dropping hints. It's going. It's gotta be as, as weirdly off the wall as the original <laughs> was, with nothing but practical effects. Yeah, so that's what I was saying about like stuff from before. Like the, the concern I have is this is what we were, what we were talking about before we hopped on was like. Do do we want to revisit shit that was so good and so, for lack of a better word, perfect, or do we want to tap into it and and possibly fuck it up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're the four-hour like... Justice League movie, so you're gonna get your answer then. I cannot honestly think off the top of my head anything that has continued from its original existence, like a continuation, whether it be a movie or a series like add-on after its original version or original whatever that has been as good let alone better than what it was based off of if that makes sense i can't think of anything so, so sorry i know I, I know i'm trying to phrase this the right way <laughs> it's really fucking hard i can't like off the top of my head we've had like a lot of like like uh either spin-offs or or series continues or movie sequels of things that were based off of like original nostalgic things like star wars tv shows blah 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 i can't honestly off of the top of my head think of anything that has been continued in that way that the continued version of whatever it is the add-on that they did whether it's a movie or like another season of a show or whatever i can't think of anything that has been like wow that's just as good as the original thing that it was based off of does it have to be like a hundred percent like one for one like we're just redoing it now for or like a continuation months. like or like a continuation like for example animaniacs like animaniacs they did another season but it's continuing off of the original success of the first one. Yep, they're gonna you know do another mean? one too. You know what I'm and saying, right? I, yeah, I, I, know, I know what you're saying. I'm trying yeah. to think of an example. That I mean, I could, could be wrong. I, say, I think you're almost 100 percent right. The only thing I could say that would that would work like that would be Doctor Who. For me. But I mean, Doctor Who's been on for Who's, fucking it's, it's 200 yeah. years. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, just because yeah. they took a break in the 80s and 90s and then they came back refreshed, it actually worked. Well, I mean, but they... we're, we're looking that far back, like, yeah, there's been times where things came out in the 80s and, and were better in the 90s or 2000s just because the technology back then couldn't support what they were doing. Right. Right. But, like, if we're looking at things that um, we all saw, say, in the 80s um, and they revamped for the 2010 or 2015. The Fat Albert that? live action movie. Oh, good oh. God, no. <laughs> hey, you could. Uh, no, let's go one further. Let's go Jim and the Holograms. 
Jesus Christ, no. That was in theaters for like a week, and they realized how much of a shit show it was. Like, oh, we're sorry. <laughs> they pulled it out after a week. Charlie's Angels fucking shit. Oh, my oh, God. No, that, you... no, that's not just, that's not just their <laughs> fault. That's the director's <laughs> fault, too. No, the, the new something. Charlie's Angels movie was really... Like, I, I haven't watched it, but I've seen enough of it to know <laughs> it's one of the worst things ever made. Wait, 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 wait. Watched it. Wasn't there two remakes of the Charlie Angels? Well, yeah, there was on. one with Drew Barrymore. And, that's uh, the one I'm thinking of. That was, um, that was okay. I mean, it was not it was terrible, but it wasn't yeah. super terrible. <laughs> and it and the one terrible with, uh, fun way. Uh, the girl from Kristen Twilight Stewart <laughs> couldn't act to save her life. Uh, her and a bunch of other whatevers uh, in the movie that it's like just so terrible. I saw parts of it and I wanted to kill myself. I saw so, the trailer yep. and Chris Kristen Stewart was still just no emotion whatsoever. It's like yeah, I saw. Him. Kristen Stewart looks like oh, yeah. a, she looks like she'd hate doing anything. <laughs> I couldn't she imagine really that does. woman having fun doing anything. She's like, oh, I won the lottery. Oh, God. <laughs> My sister went and saw the first Twilight. And she goes, she's like, they fucked up, Bella. She's like, because she was doing this all shit. Like, oh, but, eh, eh. Bella's My character yells, didn't even fucking out. exist. She was supposed to be like a clean slate so that any girl reading the book would be like, that's me. I could be that. It's like, she never really had a character. From my understanding. Well, she was Krista Bell. Krista, Krista Bell, sorry. Krista Stewart was like the last one chosen because everyone else turned it down because they tried lowball uh, salary. Like it was supposed to be Michelle Trachtenberg and she turned it down because they were like, they're like, well, no, you're gonna have to be paid lowest of the cast. And she's like, no. This is one thing I never got about that thing, because like apparently like the character is supposed to be like this. Everybody loves her. They're, she's like can't take her eyes off. Her. She's the best thing ever, and she walked around like a fucking wet fart. <laughs> like yeah. who's, who's thinking that? About this movie? Wait, she walks who's around this? like an emo bitch. Uh, Kristen Stewart. Kristen Stewart. Stewart Twilight. Twilight. She looks like the walking uh, personification of antidepressants. <laughs> exactly. But everyone, like, in the storyline, they're going to be like, oh my god, there's just something special about her. And meanwhile, fucking... Uh, what, a lack Edward of fucking emotion? Truly in the world. Uh, her hard drive? Ed Ed Edward's, like, he's staring at her the whole fucking movie. He's like, I want to fuck the shit out of you. <laughs> like, I don't she know why. She is the perfect mate for Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yep. It's when, um, the, I think it was the poster for Breaking Down Part 1 came out. And my sister looks at the poster and goes, they, my down sister looks at like Breaking, breaking, breaking Dawn down. Part 1. Dun, dun, dun. Dawn, like Dawn. Uh, yeah. And they call it Breaking Dawn Part 1. And my sister looks at the, the poster and goes, they photoshopped her tits. I'm like, you're not wrong. As you would. I hope they did, I hope they did that with mine. Fuck. <laughs> Photoshop everything about me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I said... She's a live oh action God. Daria. Fucking that. No, guy. Daria is fun. No, no. If, uh, if, there, if there's a role for Kristen Stewart, that is it. Yeah. That or depressing hand her. job. <laughs> Fuck. I don't want a live action Daria. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want shit being retreaded from. I don't want a live action Doug. Right. Fucking don't Lion want, King. Uh, I that know. was ter that's terrible. Aladdin. That was the only fuel, the only thing I liked about the live action Lion King. The only thing I liked it was jo was John Oliver playing Zazu. That's it. Yeah. It's the I, only I thing I liked. Fact, like it's it's such a in my mind I'm like who thought that this was a good idea? It's like, you know John what? Oliver. We have an animated thing with yep. a bunch of animals and the thing Wait. that sells those animals is how they emote. So let's create Wait, wait, wait. The fucking National Geographic version of it. <laughs> Did John Favreau really do the live action Lion King? He yep. directed it. The best thing fucking about the no. the best thing about the he was anime probably Lion into King it was day. Heather came back me up on this. Heather, who played Zazu in the Lion King? Oh, Mr. Bean. Yes. Well, that was yeah. awesome. Yep. He was my I, favorite part about that movie. It's awesome. What I'm just saying is John Lion King like, should should have never been touched in my honest nope. opinion. Just like a lot of the Disney properties, you don't need a CGI version of them. Well, they're always. doing a they're doing a CGI version of Little Mermaid, aren't they? They're well, doing a lot of stuff with Little Mermaid. They shouldn't be doing. They do a live action version, CGI version, everything. She's fifteen. <laughs> Old enough. <laughs> there is R. Kelly. There is. There was a there was an honest trailer I saw for Aladdin, the original, the animated one. It said, yeah. 
check out this uh, this movie from in uh, in Arabia from the '90s that has dialogue <laughs> you'll never hear again. They just hear the king go praise Allah, and then it just cuts. Yep. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, you won't fucking hear that anymore. Speaking of that, actually, I went to turn on the original Aladdin for Wendy yep. yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. God. It's edited, isn't it? Oh no, there is a there's a warning at the very beginning. <gasps> oh yeah, this things are okay. Yeah. This film depicts people of culture in a very bad way. This does not reflect. The does it really? Disney. I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, I heard does. about this. What's what's so it's, bad about Aladdin? Here's the here's the here's the, I actually pulled it up because there's a couple of, of movies and shows that have this and here's the disclaimer ready <clears throat> this program includes negative depictions and or mistreatment of people of, or cultures these stereotypes were wrong then and are wrong now rather than remove this content we want to acknowledge its harmful impact learn from it and spark conversation to create a more inclusive and future together money off it <laughs> then uh, please pay now <laughs> so I don't care what they say. Watch Song of the South get put on there and that gets slapped on there every single time. What I don't understand is I don't think Aladdin is like really that harmful. It's a, everybody in that is depicted as being from that location. Yes. No, but you need to so like. I, don't I, th- I think. I, I mean, they I have think, shitty characters of all colors. I was about to say the Indians from uh, Peter Pan, the racist yeah. crow from Dumbo. Uh, well, I can get it? like the other things, but Aladdin. I don't think Aladdin. Is well, I'm surprised they haven't slapped that thing on Tailspin. It had a fucking genie in it for fuck's sake. Like, the Siamese understand. cats. The Siamese. We are Siamese. Yeah. Oh fuck, this can be stuck they... in my head for a month now. <laughs> well, that's why they. Yeah. That was from Aladdin. No, that wasn't. No, no, no. Uh, yeah. the, the, no that was, that was, was from um, Aristocats. Oh they no, uh, Tramp. Lady Tramp. Sorry, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. why they can't. That's me like I said. That's why they me. cannot show. That's why when they syndicated the other Disney <laughs> animated Disney afternoon shows after years, they couldn't do a Tailspin because the underlying racism. Heather's gonna kill me now for. I am me. Oh no. But um, but no, like um. I mean, where do you cut? Where do you draw the line between there's underlying racism or just, can I have a character that's bad that is a specific color? Hey, or is uh, well, like, uh, hey, anything before 1960. <laughs> well, apparently, apparently, even if you win the best original song for Zippity Doodah, they want nothing to do with you. I mean, that's I straight know. racism right there. I just don't understand, like, you can't just say it's racist, but you could watch it and we will make money off of it. Alright, fuck it, I'm gonna YouTube it. Racist Disney moments, hold on. Well, they've, um, they've, I've been at the Disney store, I go in there once a while, I've been there a long time, so go to the mall anymore because of COVID. Um, but every, I've seen pictures that says coming soon song in the south and somebody bitches about it and they say oh we can't discontinue they'll put a discontinued sticker over it's happened at least 10 times in the last 20 years the thing is like i mean all that shit has a double standard because it all depends on like what the hot topic of the month is i mean there's people that made movies called white chicks whereas black guys <laughs> <white chicks. laughs> i mean i know we're gonna do our, do our video <laughs> scores you mean, you mean the uh, is a alias story <laughs> Oh yeah, Donald was a fucking Nazi. I forgot about that. Yes, I see that one. Yep. Yeah, of course, you're over there where I see Jackie. Oh, it's just maze at all. King yeah, Louis Donald- from fucking Jungle Book is considered yeah. racist? Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, okay, yeah. Too, that's yeah. why people got bitchy about it. King Lu- yeah, King Louis was th- Louis Armstrong, yep. after all. Yep. Hold on. What about the, the French rapist, Pepe Le Pew? <laughs> he did up with the Warner Brothers. <laughs> well, oh. that's also the thing that Warner Brothers. Uh, they have that Bambi, porky, wasn't the fucking they have skunk the porky a rapist too? Swearing. Oh, that's why he was me too, and then. <laughs> we yep. are Siamese, if I you please. Do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the movie, either, to be honest. I mean, I I, I, I like the Warner Brothers. Where to go, Heather? Oh God, what was that face? I'm sorry. Uh. uh d- I said he wasn't a fan of White Chicks the movie, not in real life. I mean, considering like Louis Swift. <laughs> uh, but like, he is alien because she sued him for it. She said they make a fun of him. How the, how the well, fuck did I forget Song of the South? Then. I mean, let's be real. Iggy Azalea does look like one she's of the one big, brothers. In well, white she's face. one big fuck of jokes or what else is there? I don't know if White Face is either than Casper. Uh, but like you know, I, like <laughs> I, I, I like I like the way I, I like the way it's. Uh, I just didn't really care too much for that movie. It had its moments. Yeah, with, uh, Terry Crews. It had its moments, yes, funny. but at the same but time, overall, <laughs> it wasn't as good as the other stuff that they did. I'm gonna say. 
making my way downtown. <laughs> fucking Terry Crews is the fucking. I love best. Terry Crews. I'm good. I'm so Dude, sad Terry. the show is ending this year. What show? Uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yeah, they said uh -huh. they're just gonna call the career and just end it. I I I've seen only the first season of it. I think it got it was, better it as it went fun. on. It was it Wait, was yeah. fun. The first season was fun enough. Sist wait, season of what? I was looking at racist Disney shit. Brooklyn Nine Nine is gonna end with the season with its eighth season. Brooklyn Nine Nine is fucking hilarious. Yeah, I mean it's the only show that's been able to go to two networks successfully and actually work. And they said they said after what happened um, earlier uh, last year, they didn't want to make fun of risk making fun of it. They had to rewrite the whole season because of what happened in Minneapolis. You know what Disney needs to apologize for? Making like every like father character like is dead a big fat dead <laughs> <laughs> look, look at look at bell's father he was he's this big tubby dumbass who is like an inventor but like absent-minded look yeah, at look jasmine's at father Jasmine's he's father. the exact same fucking character yep. all right hold on now i need to look up disney sure princess fathers what were you looking uh, about at the south con uh, I was just saying that the, the, the can't believe I forgot that movie, Song of the South. I I think they want you to forget about it now. Well, now I want to watch it. They said, "Well, you put it on Disney Plus." Like, hell no, that thing's too racist. It's like, I, I, you I, have I, a freaking I, disclaimer for other shit that's not even that bad. You know what? The more I'm looking into this, Basement's right about the fucking fat dads. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of fat dads. Fat Son dumb of dads. A bitch. <laughs> Fat dumb dads. <laughs> For Triton, you got fucking Trident, Pocahontas. Yeah. He's super jacked, but he's also kind of dumb. <laughs> Triton, like King Trident, is dumb, but he's super jacked, he's also... and he's like so, so like absolute <laughs> in his rulings. Poseidon, you a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I you, what's, what's Ursula? I would fucking just absolutely destroy Ursula. Sexually. Really. I don't know, Actually, something about the tentacles. You want the Popeye's chicken, so. <laughs> You want the Popeye's chicken. And, and that, that woman is, she's got where it counts, where it counts, you know what I'm saying? Wait, I mean, she's wait, disgusting. Wait, wait. Facially, the Popeye's woman. She's got eight legs, the Popeye's. she's got it where it counts. Right. Yeah. Oh, good lord. Imagine her just suctioning onto you. No. I mean, like that. Yeah, you like that. I know. I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> exactly. Well, she can sting. The and Disney she's got formula like a boycott for some reason. The Disney formula is either one parent's dead, one parent's alive, or both parents are gone. And you just throw, look at Lilo and Stitch; both your parents are gone. Yeah. Oh my God, the sister and Lilo and Stitch. For some reason, Lilo and Stitch was drawn like very like hippie. Like when it was, when it's it was the last hand drawn women, animation. The women because, were ready to be impregnated. Because I think they I, said after that, nobody wants to see that anymore. Like, you're full of shit. I think the uh, the record. I love hand drawn animation. I do too. I think the Wreck It Ralph scene where they're like all the princesses meet with her and they're like, "You have any of these problems?" It's like, holy shit, they really <laughs> do have a lot of like common yep. denominators with these things. Well, you can go even deeper because most of the original princesses all had same animation styles. Look at the okay, hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm I actually need to think about this. He oh, says, "I can tell you about a thesis I've been working on for seven years now." Look at the black police in shows and movies. They are always the one who lets stuff slide. No, I don't know if that's Unless always true. Nine -Nine. I mean, if you watch The Wire, there's... Everybody's wrong. Everybody's, everybody's bad in that. If you watch Brooklyn Nine-Nine, they have the strict police. They have their strict chief of police and they have their strict uh, sergeant. But I'm trying to think of like, oh well, fucking look at the what, lethal weapon. Uh, I'm too old for this shit. He didn't let anything slide. The other guy was look fucking at, insane. So look I don't at Beverly know. Hills Cop. Well, I mean, I'm trying to think of like, I used to give some examples so I can understand. Oh, you, you said shows and movies, not the main characters, the side characters. Yeah, that's also. Those are the token black men that were put in the Token black that characters, the yeah. Company can sit there and say, you know the black people, we're not yep. <laughs> One thing I will say, fuck Dexter, because Dox was the best character in that show. Well, now it's coming back. Super fries, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> that is the best. Yeah, he was so good, man. He was so angry, but, like, I loved him. Ew. You're getting attacked by Darth Vader's with carrots. 
not the main characters. I mean, I'm sure that like for a very long time there were just typecast to be like from yep, the magic going, within our hearts. Dropping shit. <laughs> Sorry, Disney DVD commercial. I'm going out of this Disney rabbit hole. I gotta fucking get out of this. Huh? Get me out. Well, they got Golden Girls coming to Disney Plus now. Season one. This summer. Are you? Yep. Wait, what? Yep. They're gonna share with. Okay, so you know what they're doing with um, Modern Family on Hulu and Peacock, where they're both streaming it? Yeah. They're gonna oh, do yeah. it with Hulu and um, Disney Plus because they're both owned by the same person, so they can stream on both platforms. Hell yeah. Batman. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm just in the minority, but I just like anytime I see like a well-written character, I like them. I mean, sometimes they have like back like you know, if their specific color or whatever, like just cultural reasons or they're good. There's reasons in their family to be whatever, but I mean, fuck Ben. It, it's like I hate when a character is built upon that instead of just a good character and that's added to the mix. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just realizing that I mean, Batman's a dead on. Oh, there are a lot of bad black security guards in movies. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, I think almost all security guards in the 90s were black men in movies and TV shows. I I been, yeah. I'm not going down this rabbit hole anymore. No. <laughs> Done enough to yourself tonight, Connor. <laughs> yeah, no shit. I don't have enough rogue oh. energy for that. Oh, what the fuck? The oh, fuck out, me! That's complete. Huh? Swear to me. <laughs> <laughs> so we heard Connor's reaction today. What did everyone else think of the Mortal Kombat trailer? I don't. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, know, like, I, I know that they're like I think I like I mean so, so, there's Sour said something to me about like I like I, I didn't read the whole thing because I don't want to be like spoiled yeah so I like skimmed through it a little bit and he was like yeah you know there might be more and they might be thinking about like a longer term storyline which is cool yeah. and I'm pretty sure they are because well, like I said before video games are the next market for movies to fucking dig to death uh, well, after Marvel has been did you see the Did you see the trailer yet? I did see the trailer. Um, okay. I, I, I like. I kind of like it. I feel like there's um a bit like. I know they they're gonna have to rely on CGI. Um, I do like the fact that it's centering on a storyline, and like you said, actually I watched your, you do it, Connor. Uh, like you said, I um. I'm super happy it's not about fucking Luke Kang. He's the blandest character in the whole he fucking, really universe. fucking is. Mortal Kombat. Yeah. So he's really not a good entry point for the fans. Well, what I was, what I, the, 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 the talk we were having with Salrex was basically just, he was saying that he was surprised that apparently Sub Zero was looking to be the villain of the movie. I said, well, that kind of makes sense because um, it could leave the door open and leave the door open for sequels. Yeah. Um, yeah. If they, because they have so many fucking other characters, well, they could obviously. Zero has like lore behind him too. He's one of those characters right. that was the original, and they built upon that in the game. So I feel like that's a good idea for them to do. I also love, absolutely love the guy that they got to play Scorpion. He's one of my favorite yeah. fucking yeah. Uh, Asian actors. The guy is fucking beast. I I don't know anything about any of the actors, so I'm, I'm going this completely blind in a good way. The only right. the only. The only actor I know about that is the guy who plays Jax Metcalf Brooks because he was on True Blood and he was on Supergirl. He's actually a really good actor. Who? Uh, who? Who? Metcalf Brooks. He plays who? Jax in the movie. Yeah, no, he was on uh, something I've watched too. He's he was on, on Banshee. He's on, yep, and I he was on, he's been on a bunch of stuff. He usually yeah, does like good. sidekick like roles. Him. He's very good. I like him. I'm sorry, he was like yeah. an MMA guy in that, but I like him. People were so mad they wrote him out of um, Supergirl. It's like, we wrote him out of Supergirl because he wanted to go do Mortal Kombat, and we said, go for it. So it's not like they're going to force him to do it, so. And jacking's right. off. <laughs> the first shot you see in that trailer is Jax's or buff. We're going balls to the wall here with this. I'm like, I love well, it. Well, that's what I was saying in the reaction was like, I love the choreography of the fight scenes because obviously that's going to be your money maker for the fucking movie. Yep. And I the last one, I mean... Right now, it's so much better than fucking just I'm showing just up metal with arms. fucking metal arms. Oh god! Yeah, yeah I know. Those metallic arms over his real arms, like 
What the fuck are we <laughs> doing here? It was the 90s. I mean, come on. The, yeah. the one thing well, I'm going to wonder about with the movie is the, the reliance on CGI. And if it's not great, I mean, Garo looked okay, but imagine, like, an extended shot of him fighting. Oh, no, how that's going to look. I don't think, yeah, so, I mean, I don't think he'll be on screen that much. I think he'll be, I like, don't think so either. It's going to be an improvement over... The last yeah. Just a giant yeah. Thing. But, where it was, but, like, just an excuse to kick him in the balls. I think that, like, as long as they... I, I think they'll balance it well, because the choreography from just the, the Sub-Zero fight at the end was like I, I obviously they use some cgi oh for like special God. effects and stuff but that fight at the end of the trailer really sold me on it like that was oh, the big shit, thing like yeah well like, i love okay. the fact that they right. have a lot of the people that they've got were people that are from um uh the, the have you seen the raid or the raid redemption or no. any of those movies that come from that part of the world i mean they've got they've got uh, those people from like and I'm pretty sure a lot of the choreography is done by the same guys too, because it's gonna be like hard. It's gonna be like I think they're really gonna focus on hard hitting action, from what I've seen with like obviously they're gonna add CGI and shit like that. But uh, I mean the one of, I think two of the guys were in um it's, it's on Netflix. I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's like super. It's it's a lot of choreographed action and a lot of gore. So yeah. Yeah. But uh, Heist wants us to be on the lookout for black security guards and cops in movies, not the main <laughs> characters, but the other cops. It's a pattern. It might be. It's it's so hard to like for me to like pinpoint side characters in movies and shit like that. For the most part, I'm just like, eh, they ain't good at their job. But I mean, it might, it might be that's the case. Who knows? I mean, uh, you know, but I might not. Right. What is this fucking thing? It's the free play. Going to get the rest of the cra house crashed because that's all. The I need. Black Lake. Racism. I'm getting, so much, I'm getting so much PTSD from this game. I don't know if you heard me. Did you hear me about the, the Marvel thing basement? The Marvel thing. So I told this. Yeah, so I told this to Heather and Trek earlier. I played the first Lego Marvel game that came out, and I loved it. It was really good. It was very similar to this, and I got like 97% completion. I was missing like two skins. I got like everything. My son's friend came over and fucking erased my save file. Did you kick his fucking ass? I was... <laughs> I was ready to draw blood. I'm like, you fucking... You fucking pig. He was ready to see if he knew the car door. Oh, he's gonna fucking... <laughs> you know shove what? your that ass to Westview. Thing, that shit happened to me the first oh. time I played Final Fantasy VII. Oh God. And I was super into the game, and I was doing all the side quests, and I was leveling up to like trying to get to level 100, trying to 100% complete it. And I, I was I was up there, and I did all that shit. And these two fucking assholes showed up at the house. Uh, it wasn't even my friends; it was family friends, and they just had their kids. And they fucking deleted everything on the memory card. Oh. And now they're orphans. <laughs> um. I hope they're dead. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go about it. <laughs> but I, oh, but I saw that trailer this morning. I forgot about it. I sent it to, I sent it to basement and the Horigo chat. And then I'm like, oh, an hour, or an hour ago, Connor probably like, holy shit, Connor's ahead of the curve. I'm like, I saw. It. I'm not, I'm not effing around with these trailer reactions because I want to see. <laughs> I'm, I want to see how they do as far as traction and stuff. I'm even like tagging them properly to make sure that we get like the max out of it. I think Mortal Kombat's pretty good. Pretty good. I, yeah. I, but I also feel like um, we, if we incorporate other things that are similar to that, like subject-wise, then yeah, it would be, it'd be nice, but nice. Mm. Yeah, I think it'll do. But I think people are all excited for Godzilla versus Kong. Sure, they like, eh. Everybody loves more coverture. I think that's going to be a bigger hit than Godzilla versus Kong. I actually, after the last like Godzilla movies, I think it will probably be. I think World Combat will actually like, be fucking bank, man. I and mean, Connor, like Connor said, one, this will be a franchise or two, they've been trying, I remember they've been trying to do a new version since 99. Because that 99 I mean, kill the franchise, damn it. Now's the time, I'm telling you, now's the time for video games. Yep. You're well, going to see in the well. next 10 years, video games will be more popular than Marvel. I am the well. next franchise or the next uh, like thing that they, ta they tap. Well, the last I am still Sonic video games were Sonic the Hedgehog, a uh, video game where Sonic the Hedgehog and Detective Pikachu, and they both did very well. Yeah. 
Sonic say very was actually well. very good movie. It was. But much I also feel like um, those movies would have never been able to exist if Marvel didn't do what they did. Exactly. It opened like the audience to something that's like maybe we will check this out, and also like I mean they did kind of follow a different um, format. I'm still waiting. Games, so I'm, I'm still waiting for one of my favorite video games to be adapted into a movie, and that's Twisted Metal. That could actually be a fucking. If, if it, okay, yep. imagine Twisted Metal done by, um, uh, what's the guy that did, um, uh, uh Fury Road. Oh, George Miller. Yeah, imagine yep. that. Yep. With all the stunts they did on the road, it kind of reminded me of that shit. Yeah. That, oh man. You've got That's all the there's great. so many fucking characters you can choose from. Do it. You can like. I mean, it writes itself. I would kind of like. I'd actually like Twisted combat. Metal. I would like Twisted Metal to be a fucking show. Right. Actually, yeah. you're right. It probably would be a better. Like, yeah. Grow on. And there's enough characters to end, and like if you played, I, I played Twisted Metal one, two. I played all the fucking Twisted Metals. So have I. Yeah. And uh, I mean, when if you play Twisted Metal Black, they kind of go into like character motivation, the creepiness of it all. And I feel like if they get were given time and they built up each kid, say in the, if they do, I think it would have to be like a limited series. But they like spend that time in each episode to build up the characters, and then they do have the tournament. Um, that'd be fucking. Great. Well, what you could do is you could you could make a season off of it, right? Fuck around with it, but leave like don't kill off every character. Kill off some of them, but kill off don't kill off the the important ones and make it mysterious to see whether or not they're alive or not. And then if you do get greenlit for a second season, you can bring them back like Sweet Tooth. But they have tons of characters. I mean, the the if you look at the whole like the whole lore of the game, there's yes. probably about thirty actual drivers right what i'm saying is is that you could easily recycle a bunch of them but my point is, is that there's going to be at least one or two maybe even three that you want to keep around consistently like sweet tooth is obviously the fucking poster child so you want I, to keep actually, him in some have you ever seen the movie uh Fu i think it's fury is what it's called with brad pitt and the booth Yes. Oh, what the, the tank? The tank. Oh, yeah. No, they're in yeah. a tank, and they're like a unit that operates together. I mean, the the one thing I feel like is, if there's more to do when you have like a grouping of people working together than just like the individual driving around and shooting. Because then it's just gonna be fast and furious. I feel like they could expand upon the premise of the 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 actual um, product and potentially do something that is a bit more in depth, where you have like. Maybe not a team of four people or five people, but you have more than one because it's a driver that's also shooting all the weapons at once. I don't know about that. I'd love for it to be like storyline driven with the car combat being second. Death Race, as I said, Death Race is, is it was okay. I saw one of them, I think. I mean, I'd be, I'd be, I'd be down for that. Sorry, I'm looking for them to do a series because, like, Twist Metal Black for me was. Twist Metal 2 is always going to be the best game. Fucking, fucking blowing up the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, so good. But Black had the best storyline for sure. Uh, I, I have no shame in saying that um, Black gave me nightmares. That was the first. Yeah. Like, it, that was the first video game that ever made it very very difficult for me to sleep yeah they, they, it was it was like super creepy <laughs> you know honestly and a lot of like i love the fact that you like the reason to play the game you beat the game as one character and they give you the story I, i'm pretty sure i beat the game as every character they had just to get the storylines i did too yeah it was a great game uh <sighs> Heist is waiting for a uh rockstar sons of anarchy game i swear we talked about we talked about this somewhere else. Like to do Sons of Anarchy, but have it be like done like GTA. I mean, that would be money right there. But uh, it writes things. I don't know. Yeah, and they could. I mean, don't get me wrong. The gameplay would be fucking amazing. I mean, you could just basically do. You don't even need to do Sons of Anarchy. It just could be uh, the biker game, <laughs> but done in GTA. Offspring of Chaos. <laughs> and I agree, man. Dead space. <laughs> the Dollar Tree version of fucking Sons of Anarchy. Of Spring Chaos. 
stupid. Oh man, now I'd be down to write a fucking uh, twisted metal uh, mini series. But we have I would to oh. prefer it to be a mini series too. Like I'd prefer it to like max probably like twelve episodes and do two seasons, six <laughs> and six. I, I'm gonna make a very obscure reference here. I don't know if anybody's gonna get it. Um, but Calypso would need to be played by the sleazy guy uh, who was the villain in VR Troopers. VR Troopers. <laughs> Good luck finding that one, kids. I can pull up Netflix, and I can, I can. Okay, so that can pull up Netflix. It was a Power Rangers ripoff. Yeah, it was a power. It was a spinoff. It was a pseudo, a pseudo spinoff. It was on Netflix, and people were mad at Netflix because the only things left on Netflix for Power Rangers are the new series and my. Although, Eagle although who who would you who would you cast as Calypso Basement? Uh, Calypso. Oh, that's the the guy who's in charge of the whole thing. I know, I know, I know who he is. It's just um, you need like charisma but a plain face like the guy was not like if it, he was striking physically from my from what i recall but he Gilbert was godfrey uh, no good <laughs> yes, i was good gonna say godfrey. heather get back me up to on this one. Tournament. <laughs> heather get back me up on this one the guy who ran the pawn shop and the people i think would be really good for it i'm sorry the um, pawn shop is what the crow yeah yeah, he could. You know what? I'm gonna do it. I think he's still around. He wasn't that old, bro. No, but I mean, still he was a bigger guy, so you can never tell. Ooh. Oh, who's that guy? Rick Hoffman? Hey, what From is this? Six. He doesn't have the hair, but I mean... Okay, hold on, hold up, hold up. Okay. I just searched something. I don't know if this is real or not. This is uh, you Met might want to clear out your search history. I Twisted Metal Series. Uh huh. I'm Will sure there's Arnett. been a bunch of pitches. But this is February 12th, 2021. Yeah, but I think that's a lot of people are saying that because you could put it. Is it on IMDb? No, it's some fucking, I don't know, it looks again. Illuminati, Illuminati website. <laughs> it's, I think it's a lot of people have been saying. I think that there was. It was something like a Buffy continuation rolling around, and then that's per not to be false. So there's been a bunch of stuff that they yeah, say I, that the fans just put up there for to see. Haha, <laughs> let's do it. The one thing let's I don't happens. like about what this says, okay, they said they said Will Arnett uh, set to voice Sweet Tooth in Mark's setting stories and shit like that. I have a feeling this is going to be like an animated series and not an actual oh. live action. But uh, what they say here, but this is, I don't think anything's actual real. What they say here that I kind of don't like, Twisted Metal series was described to us as a high octane action comedy. No. Circling around an outsider trying to better his own life. No. I feel like if I, if I no. was going to do the Twisted Metal series, this is what I would do. I, I would start it off with a character that wasn't in Twisted Metal as an entry point for the viewers, but have it have them be like either super down on their luck or uh, something terrible happened to them where they have to enter uh, whatever it is and have it an entry point and then introduce all the other characters. I don't think the entry point should be a character that already exists in the Twisted Metal universe. Similar to what Mortal Kombat is kind Mortal of doing, Kombat's even doing, if yep. the, even if the character ends up being more than that, mm -hmm. uh, even 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 if in Twist Metal the character ends up being say Spectre or one of the other characters there, um, you could do that. But I feel like it would be good for like an entry point for people that aren't familiar with the franchise. If you're doing it as a series, what I would do personally is I would have depending on how many episodes you're greenlit for, I would do. A different episode highlighting one to two characters and then once you're done yeah. introducing all the characters then you have them all converge in the same timeline so kind of well, like what they did with see. wandavision in terms of like okay the first three episodes establishes what's going on the fourth episode catches you up what's going on outside and then the, by the fifth one everyone's caught up at the same time but i also feel like i guess what i i mean in those episodes you also still have to like create the um atmosphere for what the show is going to be so you still have to have like action set pieces and stuff like that oh you can i don't think yeah i don't think you just like sit there and like introduce characters time and time again wandavision might be able to do it because disney has never ending budget but if this was like greenland well, on netflix or something they'd have to have like an eye-catching premiere right you'd have to you'd have to 
you'd have to manage it a certain way and introduce certain characters in certain order. But the idea is that you'd want, at least this is my, my pitch, is that you would do, like, let's say three or four episodes just introducing the characters. And then in those episodes, you also establish the world presence of, like, this is fucking nuts. They're actually doing a fucking tournament to do this and twisted, like, you know, da, 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 and then, like, maybe one's just on Calypso. Like, well, maybe not so much on Calypso. But, like, just, like, given the backstories, that way, when you get to the point where now the action's getting intense and now, like, things are getting real, it means more. Because if you just start introducing, like, rando people, it's like, oh, I'm Spectre. I'm a ghost. I drive a white car. Let's go! But, like, it's right. not gonna... It's but I also feel like um, if you're going to start the show, what what I would ideally do is I'd start with a character that might not be... He might end up being a character that we, we know of, but we don't call him that. Or he ends up being a character, or she ends up being a character that has nothing to do with the actual game. Um, but it's uh, her motivation, or his motivation to become part of something, mm -hmm. is strictly based upon, say like... Say like um, Sweet Tooth kills their family, murders the family, he's just fucking serial killer, so that's something. And then they go after him, and it leads to this, um, and then it leads to Calypso, because it's all on Calypso's order, for the most it's funny, part. funny, because I, I was going to say, I would I would say start with Sweet Tooth. <laughs> yeah, or... <laughs> to, or like, to hook people in. Well, you could, you could start the show with Sweet Tooth as, right. like, the first 15 minutes of the show to get you to that point. Um, but I would also say, like, you need a character with motivation for being there that doesn't need to be there. But right. that would be that would be fucking – that's where I would jump off from with the I show mean, and make, like uh, – give some backstory for the character of, like, family member or friend or something that's, like, a, into driving and shit like that. And then they just they end up dying. And it's like a horrible shit. car crash and then – so there. I just googled oh, fucking Christ um, I just googled um, how many characters there are there's a lot in Twisted there Metal are a lot. Ooh. there are a lot there's a I mean there's a ugh, Jesus <laughs> you can have a lot of fun with them too because they're all like so there's such personalities without backstories but you can assume what the backstories would be um i'm actually agreeing with him with dead space i thought dead space was actually like yeah. the um the pred like the continuation of the alien series for me it did did certain things really well had tension and it was creepy as fuck i'd love to see that happen Something like uh, Outlast would be really fun. Yeah, that would be a, a, a neat idea too. Maybe not even, maybe not even like. I mean, uh, fucking horror movies are fucking copy and paste a lot of the times nowadays too. But, um, but I, think, I feel like horror games have a lot more. To, like horror games could reinvigorate the horror movie fucking genre, in my honest opinion. Because there's better ideas in horror games than there are in. Like I'm trying to think of like other horror. Movies I would say or a horror game. I would say not as a movie, but I think as a limited series that they could do a really good job with the Street Fighter series. Like you have Kyle recruiting people for his team. I mean, shit, I'd watch if they did it right. right. They did. If you look at, if you want inspiration, look at the, there was a cartoon series back in the 90s on the USA Network. It's on, um, on uh, Crackle. And you can watch it. It's actually done very well. Um, by the way, I was about to say we should, uh, you know, I know they're going to do a Five Nights at Freddy's movie eventually, and that just reminded me, Willy's Wonderland's out. <laughs> oh, it is, it's out? It's yeah. out. Uh, I want to watch it. I, I think we need to make it a group stream. I think we, 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 we won't be able to show it, obviously, but yeah, um, yeah it, it, well, it needs to could, happen. Uh, we could do what we're trying to do. No, we could show up, but Nicolas Cage would show up at your house. Well, Hold on. That. I, I want to see the full. I'm, I'm looking at the easy reviews now. Oh my god! Yeah. Come for Nick Cage fighting a robot alligator with a mop. <laughs> Stay for some in inventive licks on the Dead by Dawn horror movie template. Though the other characters are nothing to shriek about. If Rob Zombie made a slasher movie that was also an Attack of the Killer Muppets movie, it might look like Willy's Wonderland. Um, <laughs> The unserious but seriously played drama in this horror comedy is paced quickly, revels in its violence, and showcases Nicolas Cage's "quote unquote" rage in notably fun <laughs> and playful ways. It's got high ratings. 
Which is surprising. It's supposed to actually be really good. You know what, though? I will say, okay, so Heist is saying he rewatched Street Fighter and that the casting was ass. Jean Claude Van Damme was on point. Um, uh, Raul Julia. He was he's always memorable. Good. He's super memorable, but like physically, he doesn't fit the character. Yeah. Um, At that time, he was also fighting cancer. So. He was. Yeah. He was fighting the heart problem too, I think too. Yeah. So. Dalsim, no. Heist. If you want to Actually, see something really good, no. go look up. Um, not the not the movie Street Fighter. It's on Crackle. Look up the animated series from the USA Network. They have the entire two seasons out there. It is fucking awesome. And Baba can back me up on that because he has. Series, <laughs> it's it, 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 it's done really well. Baba, you know what they could do? You know what they could do as a TV show or a, or a, movie, a TV show, preferably the uh, Red Dead Redemption series. Yes. Yep. One and two. Ghost of Tsushima. They could probably do easy enough. Uh, Tomb Raider, easy enough. These are ones that are going to get adapted. It's just when what I would love to see, what I would love to see as an adaptation is uh, Bioshock. Ooh. Yes, especially if that is one. such a good, uh, especially no, especially the first one. I fucking the first one is 100 percent the best for me. Uh, Infinite was had a really cool um, atmosphere. Uh, Infinite and the first one was better. Let's just yeah. say that. I think if you got the right budget and the right writers behind it, a Zelda movie would be... Oh, they were going to do a Zelda Netflix series, but such that where it leaked out, so they canceled it. The oh, fuck cool. is that? <laughs> uh, that's so was, dumb. But, uh, but, like, but the funny or die guys were talking about it. They said, yeah, we got a leaked script. That we're... And they weren't joking about stuff like that, but they heard the pitch, and then someone from Netflix got in trouble leaking the pitch, so it got canceled. But, like, to waste all that. Uh, that's just a fucking, such a fucking waste. I feel like Zelda should be an animated show. Yes. It uh, was for a while. Uh, but, like, like, I think it should be animated regardless. I don't I don't think, like, the fantastical nature of Zelda really lends itself well to live action. Well, if you do it right. I, 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 I can do it right. It, <laughs> it could end up being, like, it, fucking Dungeons and Dragons, though, if you do live action. Yeah, good point. Uh, okay. I feel like there's too many fantastical creatures. He's like one of the only humanoids, and most of Zelda is in the adventure. The storyline is so basic that it doesn't necessarily need mm. a huge amount of retelling. But I feel like an animated series could be solid. You know what I'm Give me Mark. Yep. Fucking Go for it. The live action Mario, Super Mario movie. Listen. Do right. Don't fuck with the oh, classic. Yeah. I don't you know. You know what? If if Super Mario gets redone, it ha it can't be live action. It should it's never be, be live animated, action. It's gonna be animated. I heard. It has to be. I I'd be interested to, to see a um. I'd be interested to see a like an an, an 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 anime mature anime version of Dark Souls. I think that would work. Hmm. Um, just like uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, maybe. In a cool world, cool protagonist, that kind of shit. I'll take a Crash Bandicoot Kids TV show. <laughs> There you go. I can see that happen. I know it's been done, but I'd like to see, um... Oh, what was it? I, it was a tip I said. Oh, Final Fantasy animated. The well, games I, uh, I mean, are pretty much a fucking movie in, a, in their Yeah, movie. and also, I, I did like the, the... I didn't mind the movie that they did. The Spirits the one, Within was pretty yeah, good. Was yeah. right. How about Call good. of Duty the movie? <laughs> as long as you have... Run around and knife you, everybody. <laughs> what they should do is they should do a limited search rate and then the streets of finale for that is like seems like and then extra episode is prop hunt. <laughs> I was just about to say fucking Call of Duty prop hunt the movie. <laughs> well they're, they're doing Metal Gear Solid as a movie. Yeah, but does Metal Gear Solid the movie have a fucking TV running around the fucking middle of the bus? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I know <laughs> <started Yeah>. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid is a lot of fucking weird shit, but uh, the movie will probably be pretty good. Uh, you know what I'd love to see? I don't know if you guys played it. Grim Fandango being done as like a Pixar. It had a good story. It had like, they've already done Coco, which is similar in look. Grim Fandango. I like the Metroid in um, some movie. Let me see, what else could they do? Um... So here's a question. What movies out there would you want to see? Oh, ooh, ooh. Turning it on its head. Let's go take a shit. 
<laughs> He's gonna do something. I can... don't think that's a so a movie made into a game, huh? Orange? I mean, uh. That's so hard to think of because there are Fuck. so many movies that have been turned into games. Yeah, seriously. Um, I can think of one TV show that has not been turned into a video game yet. Golden Girls. Supernatural. No. Which one? Stargate. Holy shit, yeah, why haven't they- I what? Th really? I think they were going to and then the MGM went belly up, so that's probably why they couldn't do it. Fuck, I'm surprised they haven't. There um, were plans to. Is there a Doctor Who game? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, well, there shows you how, how much I know about like the franchise. See, <laughs> I'd like to see a Highlander game. God damn, I have to think now. Uh, there was gonna be a Highlander um, game, and then they they scrapped it at the last minute. I'm like, oh, you fuckers. Yeah, what the fuck hasn't been made into a game? God damn. Ooh, no, I know one. I know exactly what series I would turn into, into, into a video game, but you have to do it like GTA, otherwise it would work. Give me a fucking Breaking Bad video game. Yeah. Give me cool. a, um... Give me, like, an in-depth... Either in -depth. MMO or, like, something like The Witcher version of Game of Thrones. Ooh. I'd like that. I that would be, that would be interesting. I can't finish the one that I downloaded. <laughs> it is I can't finish downloading it's, anything. It's that bad? It, it is. Because you know what? I got it to the point where I captured the first fortress. <laughs> I can't beat anybody after that. Sorry, I just thought of Clerks 2's description of Lord of the Rings trilogy. <laughs> Three <laughs> hours of people of walking to a fucking volcano. Because that's how Kevin of... Smith really feels. <laughs> There's a lot of movies and TV shows that turn into fucking video games, man. Holy shit. Actually, Clerks is something I would it. also turn into a video game, to be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> it turn, um... Constantine? I would make a Constantine video game. Mandalorian? Awesome. Come on, the Mandalorian? Oh, fuck yeah. Where you go Christ. around and you, like, beat missions and you get... Yep. No, but you get no, like Beskar, no. and you get Beskar, and you turn it into like different parts of your armor, and you upgrade that way. Yeah. Fucking side missions up the wazoo. Come yeah, on, man. man. Yeah, that, make, that fucking writes itself sick. right there. Yeah, seriously. John Favreau, <laughs> you need to make up your, uh, you need to make up for the Lion King with this shit. <laughs> it's been turned Str into. I, a... I would play a Stranger Things game. But I just don't know how it would work. Hmm. I think they actually made it. Made what? Well, not not Stranger shit. Though. Things. Not shit. Not shit. Not shit. Um, it's been turned into a, a game, but I'd like to see Lego Back to the Future. Jumanji, which is basically a game already. They do have it, a game for it already. Yep. Yep. But that's that's not shit. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that's not shit. <laughs> that's gonna be the tagline. This is not shit. This is itself not right shit. there. Boom. IGN. Ten not, out of ten. This is not shit. This is the shit. Django um, Unchained the game. The movie was so game like and like the over exaggerated violence in it. I no, it's just high Jenga. <laughs> Jenga Unchained. Could you imagine Jenga online? I'm sure. You go around as the only kids. black piece in the game. Oh no. <laughs> listen, listen, if they made Battleship a fucking movie. Exactly. Uh, no, yeah, no that should have never that, that should have never happened. Operation. I the point game. with Lee okay. Nisi, they like like five minutes and then he disappears. Rihanna's the star. I'm like, that should never happen. Um, um, Rihanna was a terrible actor. Yeah, I, I did. think he did. <laughs> and it was impossible. He played Monopoly that I one mean, night, I... just obliterated there, right? I mean, I was pretty obliterated. I don't remember much of the <laughs> surgery game. <laughs> um, Friday. Movies or TV shows <laughs> that have been turned into video games. <laughs> um... Oh. I don't know. I don't know if there's any other video games or any other movies or TV shows. I turned The Punisher into a video game. It's been shit. Give me a Rocco's <laughs> Modern Life video game. Uh, they Isn't that like Toe Jam and Earl? So almost? Uh, games? No, sorry. <laughs> shows that should be 
game. I remember back in the day, people were making fun of it. They're like, they should do a Save by the Bell game. I'm like, you know what? I'm shocked nobody's done that. Hold on. Number one is Game of Thrones. Number two is Downton Abbey. What the Downton fuck? Abbey. What? what the game is that going to be? Yeah, I've never seen the show, so I don't know. It's not bad. From the makers of watching paint dry comes Downtown Abbey, available on this, PS5 and Xbox. This I 100% agree with Avatar The Last Airbender. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Queen. No, use it. Fuck. I uh, get fucking hate. Um, <laughs> Who's that? That movie? We had a Buffy game. We had we had a Buffy game, but I would have liked to have seen an Angel of the Series game. I already blocked the originator okay. of that phrase, so no, I'm not gonna play. <laughs> to, to <laughs> any any like series that creates a world. So like Rick and Morty, anything that creates. Holy a shit! World, why did I not think of a fucking Rick and Morty game? Well, oh Adventure my Brothers. god! Terrible. How about the Venture Brothers? I'd be down with that. I miss that show. I miss that show too. Patrick Warburton's the shit. He's awesome. What else can you do? What's on the list? What else is on the list, basement? So um, now now I'm in a different list that says that was on the <laughs> four. Downtown <laughs> Abbey. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty three video games Netflix needs to make TV shows. Uh, we've got Dark Souls. Uh, okay. the next one is Fallout. That could work. It would have to be a limited series because yeah. I don't feel like it should last too long or else like we said last time someone mentioned it, it's gonna turn into Walking Dead. Um the next thing they have here is Mafia, which I feel like I don't that care to see game. it's already oh, yeah. okay. just how, how but how many like move how many TV shows have a been lot. about that? Just exactly. give it to Scorsese and get at yeah. it. And they're doing more for um like they're doing two shows based on the on the making of the Godfather, two two separate shows. I uh I saw this funny TikTok that said like Martin Scorsese made a comment like a couple of days ago. It said like, Oh, I don't consider the Marvel movies real movies. It's like Oh, okay. That's no, that's that. unfortunate. He apologized for that. No, no, I know, but they're, they're like, uh, like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't see you as real movies. And then, and there's a guy just like playing as Marvel movies. Like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. We wanted you to direct a new movie. Hey, uh, can you tell us about that like one with like the uh, the Italian mobsters that you made? Oh, this one? No. This one? No. This one? No. This one? No. All of them. <laughs> yeah. the only thing he's like, can apparently do. He's like, oh, never mind. Yeah, that's what we thought. Wasn't he in a shark's <laughs> tail or whatever? The, with the yeah, he was in the shark's tail. Yeah, Shark's Tale. He's been in about fucking everything on the goddamn planet. <laughs> yep. He's got some solid eyebrows, so I'm just saying. What else on the list? Though. They've got uh, the Elder Scrolls series, like Skyrim, um, Oblivion, them. Yep. I feel like that could easily happen. That could yeah. work, yeah. Uh, they have Ratchet and Clank. Yes, please. They did them Pixar. Actually. Yeah. yeah oh, this I'm 100% down for. Mass Effect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Give me Mass Effect, big time. The Mass Effect is, to me, equivalent to Star Wars for gamers. Because it existed in the realm where games didn't look like shit. Older. Funny, that game is also what it's called when I slip and fall on my ass and the whole house shakes. I, I I'm I'm agreeing. Like uh, Rick and Morty, the game would be fucking sick. But you know what they would do? They'd give it the Simpsons treatment, where it's yeah. like so self-contained and terrible. The next I thing they have the is game wasn't that bad. Which is that? I think there's been a lot, and most of them were bad. But there's been like a couple. You know, but like the there was one that I remember that came out right around like the PS3. The Road Rage game. The Road Rage game was the shits. I fucking yeah. love that awesome. game. The one where you could yeah. go anywhere within like the within. Fucking, yeah. What the fuck? Where did they live again? It was just called The Simpsons. Springfield. Game. Springfield. Yeah, I was gonna say Springdale. Close. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, Metroid is number fourteen. Yeah. Metroid. Okay. My question is, I don't think there's enough story there. No, I don't, I don't think so either. For me to watch it. Next is Final Fantasy, but there's no. I don't think there's a reason for that to happen. The next is Bieber Uncharted, is oh, which is well, happening no. in movies. Yep. Uh, the next after that is Halo. I was that. thinking about. I was thinking about Halo, and I'm like, eh. I think HBO Halo Max. would be a better movie than a TV show, just because the story again, there is story, but like your protagonist is the Mandalorian. Yeah. 
Oh. Yep. Well, at the end, he's supposed to. Use, I remember one script at the end, he takes off his helmet, it's Denzel Washington. Everybody just saw that and started laughing. That would be funny. Oh, that's what I would like, actually. I'm the equalizer. Yeah. <laughs> he morphs into fucking Queen Latifah. Um, Metal Gear Solid <laughs> is the next one, which is becoming a movie. Resident Evil, which has been several movies, it's but actually. Rebooted. Could be better. Could be a lot better than what they did. They're I didn't mind the first Resident Evil. They should because there's enough there, and there's so many characters that they don't talk about. Do you think of? I think they're know. saying like, September this year is gonna be out. I feel like if they did Resident Evil, but they went like really heavy with the horror oh. and kind of went away from the action, it would be a much better movie. A bit, yeah. That's probably what they're gonna do now. Number eight is Super Mario Bros. That's like a Pixar thing. And at number seven is one that either you're going to love. Kingdom Hearts. There you go. Uh, I thought they could, were going to do that. That should be Pixar, man. Or it should, it should be, still yeah. be animated, yeah. I thought they were going to do that for Disney+. Plus. I thought I heard that earlier, uh, late last year. The next one is The Last of Us, which we're getting. Yeah. Uh, League of Legends. I don't know how that would work. <laughs> Like World of yeah, like, but there's bad. no storyline. I mean, there's storylines like there's deep lore and shit. But in the end, it all comes down to like running down the lane and attacking. You. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption number four, we talked about that. Number three, we talked about Legend of Zelda. Number two, we talked about Bioshock, and number one, which I think could be done, but it would have to be uh, animated, is Overwatch. Yeah, you and can't. I don't think yeah. it should be done. I don't think it even should be done either because games are basically doing it. They have like animated shorts that come out when they release new characters that are telling the storylines in the same quality as the game. So like, I mean, I think it needs to be done at all. Yep. I'm missing one house press piece. And then I can go and build up. This makes me want to play and not want to play Lego games at the same time because I'm getting fucking PTSD. <laughs> it's so fucking tedious, but at the same time... It really, it really is. But it's also uh, very rewarding. Connor, did you watch the Assassin's Creed movie? What? Did anyone? <laughs> no. Michael yeah. Fassbender was the he's, he's Assassin's good, Creed. For that There's an Assassin's mess. Creed movie? Yeah, with Michael Fassbender. He was, yeah. uh, he was Oh, that's right. I did hear about that. Yeah, came no. out like Christmas 2019. Yeah. You know why? It was terrible. There's no, been a dude. lot of fucking... There's been a lot of fucking movies, actually, now that I look at it. No, do you know dude. why I did why I didn't do... Uh, which is funny, because I do like Michael Fassbender a lot. Um, do you know why I didn't watch that one? Because it was shit. No. no. no forces. Right. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Track. <laughs> oh, so many more characters to find. I will do that offline. Yeah, Monster Hunter, the new Monster Hunter that was in trouble for having some racist jokes. Okay, so the racist joke was brought up by the guy who's actually Asian and put the joke in there himself, and he apologized for it. He said, "But I mean, it's she says it's, it's, not it's, not even, it, it's not even really that bad. Fuck, fuck this world." He yeah. said something like. It was said like what needs it goes Chinese and like he even said the, the director said you know he's the expert we let him add that he goes I'm sorry he's the he expert the Asian that we got on this film <laughs> no but it's it's so stupid how people are yeah. like, so like yeah uh, it was like a get rid line. of everything come on how many people have said that in the past yeah how many people that are alive now that are 30 plus years old that haven't said Chinese the Japanese these knees, look at these, or some shit like that. Here's, I know thing. what it is. It's, <laughs> it's so that I don't want to say because we might get the channel shut down. Is what the real line is. And then you do the like this night I thing, which is not right now. Ooh. I was I was looking at some other things. Someone said Diablo should be made into a. Uh, Again, they're gonna run into the same problem that they do with World of Warcraft. They're gonna go the half-ass yeah. route, not even bother with any of the fucking lore, and it's gonna be complete shit. What Especially about that? That Warcraft movie was awful. What about an Assassin's <laughs> Creed TV show? The thing is, there's not enough for me. Like any game that's more action than a storyline, how are you gonna fucking make that work? 
That appeases the fans, because you're just gonna have to make shit up. I mean, that's Hollywood for you. Yep. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of games out there, like Destiny, that has a bunch of lore that's not shared with you in the game. You just run around and shoot shit. But then again, I wouldn't want to see that as a movie or anything either. Um, uh, Aru says, I'd love to see a JP game or movie based on a disgruntled religious worshipper. <laughs> it would be called Shut Up Trek. Be worshipping the cult of the ass. <laughs> I just remembered when he put that, that picture of him, what was it, 10 years ago, Heather, in the horny goat chat? Yep. And I said that he didn't even know me yet. He's already looked like he wants to say shut up, Trek. Yep. He did. <laughs> at that, at that so. very moment, he sat there and saw the flash of a camera and then reacted <laughs> minutes later. Yep. I said something about Power Rangers. I gotta scroll back up. He said. Uh, he go, go said, Power I wish Power Rangers, Rangers was a Netflix show and said that movie. Well, you're gonna get your wish because what I heard, they're gonna do. They're gonna reboot it. It's gonna be over Power <sighs> Mighty Morphin, and then it's gonna be like that the movie's gonna tie into the show. So that's why they pulled everything except for Mighty Morphin off of Netflix because they're trying to kind of retcon half the shit out. Well, I so kind of hate it to be honest. Well, here's here's kind of what I here's what happened, and this is kind of insane when you really think about it. But so for I don't even know how many fucking seasons. What is it? Twenty one, twenty five at this point. I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> it's but, rivaling Pokemon. But the point is, is that Power Rangers always had a working, or sorry, Saban Entertainment, which is the company that produces Power Rangers in the states has a relationship with Toei Animation who produces Super Sentai which is Super what Sentai. which is what they're based off of in Japan. And they've had this like they've had this like <laughs> Super Sentai Um <laughs> god that was the whitest male version of that thing I've ever fucking said. I um, <laughs> so they've been having this like handshake almost agreement for like you know over 20 years. Yeah. And they just decided now we're good. So and it's the current season that's coming up which i think is called dino knights or something like that or dino, like I, is it dino fury fury or something like, yeah, yeah it's something dino that's going to be the last season of power rangers that is based off of the super sentai series so anything like after footage. that anything after that's not going to have like the japanese footage so it's going to be all original stuff which is like right. that's going to be a little weird yeah <laughs> that's not going to be cheap i mean I, I, I feel like see somebody bankroll that shit Maybe it's just me, but I feel like the fan base for Power Rangers has kind of like set sail. Uh, I know they still I got like back into it a little bit. I know well, they it, still exist, but I feel like what is the market for it? And yeah, I don't think the market. They're... But I don't think the market could ever exceed the amount of money you might have to spend on the fucking movie to be made. <laughs> well, apparently, if you go to Target, somebody was saying that they have like all the old retro toys. Those things are selling off like crazy. Well, yeah, so they're the trying to. There. So they're going back to the beginning with Mighty Morphin, and that's where they're gonna pick up off. They're gonna pretty much wreck on everything else. So everybody's pissed off that they said Netflix dropped their shows, but it's uh, Saban took them took the rights back, and there's reports that might show up on Disney Plus with all the rest of the episodes. But what's the point? We need all that Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I don't want to see a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers anything. But that's just me. I'm sure there's a lot of people that are chomping at the bit for different colored people <laughs> to attack Smooth. gigantic monsters <laughs> 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 you got green lives matter yellow lives matter you got all the lives matter i mean Power Rangers. i i so my son was watching it and then i kind of got back into it a little bit and some of the writing on some of the seasons recently were not bad but I'm gonna have yeah. to say probably that's very untrue. Well, <laughs> there, was, there, there were there were I'm talking about compared to other. Bad. It was like you have to do like eighteen thousand poses and then hold the thing in front of you. Beast yell. 
<laughs> BCL. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's similar. So you what? So you've watched it? Is it? <laughs> Which show is this? Which movie? No, I was saying Power Rangers. Oh, Power Rangers. which Power Rangers are we talking about here? Um, there's about ten um, million of them. But no, but I got more into it knowing that it's gonna end soon. Because I'm like, okay, let's see how this is all turning well, around. Well, they're rebooting it now, Ish. so it's never gonna really end. Right. That's like Andrew, connecting with, with your grandparents before they die. Because you know, Jason, they pretty much to come back again. Uh, so you know, you don't have to be there for long. He's never long. left track. He is still part of yep. the Power Rangers. Yep, I know. Who? He's the longest running cat from Tommy. Frank. Yep, he's never gonna. Who is that? Tommy the, the Green Ranger. Tommy the original the Ranger, Green Ranger. 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 Didn't he kill someone with a sword? No. No, that was um. That was the Blue Rangers. Um. I thought it was a Stunt white ranger. Like that. No, it was a red no, ranger. Uh, it was the a red, red ranger. ranger was uh, the native one. He didn't kill. Him. So Jesus it was Christ! It was the white ranger, 100. percent No, it was the red ranger from Wild Force who became yeah. a villain in. Um. Yeah, I know this. Shut up. Um, <laughs> Which Power Ranger killed someone? Well, there was. A, Google it. There yeah, was, here. The, okay, so there was in real life there was one who was the blue ranger who was yeah. stunt double and killed someone yeah. off a boat, and that was it. There was a like, Billy killed someone. Oh, Billy doesn't do shit. They're not telling me which color he was. He was the red. Uh, he was the red wild force ranger. If you're looking at what's his name, Ricardo Medina Jr. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling Joshua yeah. Sutter. I wonder if he did the whole thing beforehand. He <laughs> like did the stance. Oh, God. oh yeah. No. Well, you know what's ironic. You know what's ironic. Well, no, he did have a sword. I was like, you know what's ironic is that the the ranger he was was all about like wildlife and preserving in nature. It's like I don't think he had a sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! It's a red power ranger. Who's my favorite? Wait, did he kill someone in real life? Yes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Oh, good lord! But this isn't the red power ranger I'm thinking. No, no, no you're thinking of you're, you're thinking, thinking of Jason. This <laughs> Yeah, he did. Nah. Basement. Dressed. At least he didn't kill some. Basement. After a certain point in time, they almost do a new cast every season. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at Unless the guy that Tommy. killed somebody with the sword, and time. he has the most unreal chin jawbones. This guy looks like he could cut paper with his fucking jaw. I can't look you, at him. I hate him. You want to see something funny? Look up the MTV show on Dress because Jason David, uh, Tommy, I was calling Tommy. Tommy's on there with his wife. I think with his wife. Mm -hmm. Then he met on Power Rangers. Is this and the I'm porn like, one? The the porn Tommy? Are we talking about the porn Tommy? No, no the real life Tommy. All right, which one did porn? Jesus Christ. Jason. All right, look. Here. Which one didn't? Look at this. Look, look at this guy. Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on. The Red Ranger from Mighty Wolf Power Rangers. Looks like his fucking jawbone was manufactured in Russia. <laughs> He's still on the show too. Didn't he kill somebody? You're stuck on that. No, that's a different Red Ranger. You we're talking about the original Red Ranger from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. He's still on the Is show. Is this the one that did gay porn? Apparently. Okay, what happened to the Power Rangers? Uh, one of them died. Yeah, the Blue Ranger. Yeah, Ranger. no, the yellow. Trini, yeah, she oh, yeah, died in she a car accident. Die. Yeah. She was not wearing her seatbelt. She died. That's not... That's not morphin' time. No. Mm. My fucking that was a, that was, it's the, the saddest thing about this was that she died in September 2001, so that was not a good month for anyone. I'm like, nice of you to just draw that comparison. David Yost, who's the Blue Ranger. Yes, he's gay. Billy, yeah, he said that they they were hates him about that. Well, it was the 90s. Everybody got gays for being gay. Yep. He promotes the A and he advocates for LGBTQ plus minus. Austin St. John, who was the, this is the Red him. Ranger I'm he's talking the Red about. Red Ranger. Yeah. Uh, he puts his skills in Taekwondo, Judo, and Kim. Fucking going pornos. He's on he, Dino Fury right now. He um. He works for emergency services around Washington D.C. Come on, guys. Maybe no, he did porn back in the day. No, I was about to say was he um. Probably. He act. <laughs> He actually went and did. Um, he actually, I yeah, became like, he, 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 God damn it, uh, <laughs> fucking. He he did military service and he was actually like, yeah, like a uh, EMT, because he wanted to actually like 
to help it's people after He's yeah. with the climax in the chat. It's more for time! <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> but what uh, I heard, people bring up Billy all the time. What I've heard, I've heard people like uh, Tommy on there said, Billy was very strict and straight laced and wouldn't hang out with anybody, so they were they were not fans of his. It's you, morphine you know time. Show, you remember the show Frasier? Yes. Yes. Yeah. His brother? That's exactly what Billy looks like right David now. David Hyde Pierce. Fucking yeah. hell yeah. He's a hundred percent that. Um, uh, Austin St. John looks kind of like um. Uh, he, he works. He looks like a guy that works at the sub shop near me. <laughs> <laughs> he might be. A lot of, lot of locals. Amy Jo Johnson looks almost exactly the same. Yep. I'll tell you this: they didn't. David said they didn't get paid shit for that first season at Mighty Morphin. So, uh, what's his name? Jason left the first after like the second season, and he said that yep. uh, in an interview that he uh, he could basically have gone to go work at McDonald's and get paid as much, if not more. Yeah, he was they, being on. They dicked him around the pay. Yep. Walter Emmanuel Jones, who was the Black Ranger. The Black Ranger Zach. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, basically says he only actually appears in movies where he is a security guard. Have you, uh, no. <laughs> fucking, come on. <laughs> um, <laughs> he appears at, like, World of Wheels um, uh, reunions and stuff. So, Basement, I, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy, but there's a guy on YouTube. Uh, his name's Linkara, and he does a, a channel. His se series is called The Top of the Fourth Wall, and he basically does comic book reviews. And, I don't have any idea. And he uh, he does this series called History of Power Rangers, and he literally reviews every season of Power Rangers, but he does it in a very comical way where he, like, really, like, jokingly, seriously, like, critiques, like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, why would you do all this? Like, why'd you do like, and you know, obviously taking he's like, he's like, if you guys are criticizing me for making fun of a kid's show of brightly colored spandex, <laughs> people fighting rubber suited monsters, then clearly you don't know anything about my channel. <laughs> but also, I mean, the original power Rangers, like black Rangers, black, yellow, Asian, pink. Yeah. White. yeah that, that's what he says. Like, well, and then he goes, and, and later the red Ranger would be native American. Whoops. <laughs> Well, the, the funny thing is, it wasn't even supposed to go on this long. In space was supposed to be the last season. Correct. Which is why, spoiler alert, they killed off Zordon. And then Fox said, Fox had the ratings, and they're like, let's keep it going. It's been on ever since. It's gonna be on. You know who I fucking hated in the Power Rangers? Yep. I fucking wanted to literally kill Alpha 5. I was about to say, I'm like, I know where this is going. Aye, aye, aye. No? Uh, I hated him. I hated him. Rita Repulsa, she's still kicking, and she's got wonderful hair. One of the Ritas, <laughs> like, who is, like, her stunt oversight that died. Alright. I can't figure she had a out stunt the double? For the most part, she did nothing. The, the guy who played Ernie the Jew Shop owner died. Ernie the Jew Shop or owner? The Juice Shop owner. That's oh. better. Yeah, I can't talk. It's like, yeah. But yeah, I'm trying, he, to, I'm trying to find I a clip of Alpha. Hold on. They said he was the most like his character because he was always very giving and very helpful to people and stuff. And he died, um, I think it was like complications of gastric bypass or something like that. So. Yeah, you probably have complications of that. I can't find fucking a clip of Alpha just saying I, 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 I in English. It has to be in fucking I, Brazil. I think that they're it's the same very thing, it's just with an accent. That. They're very careful about the clips they get released, die. especially with Disney pretty much in charge. Oh, God, fuck it. I can't find it's probably a ringtone or something. Cool. Can't find what? The last can't piece of the that crest. Puff, puff, puff Why haven't they done an American version of Oh, what? Power Rangers? What? No, it costs Potter. too much. Oh, that, uh, that's not such a good idea. Why? I don't think they could do it right. Oh. I think the fact that it... What, what was that? So it can only be English? English. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy just ripping burps like nobody's business. She didn't burp. Just have I the think... main character be John Smith. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's just dancing. Yeah, she is. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that's a very burp. Oh, I fucking poked my eyes out. But I think it's just that it's it's like Doctor Who. You can't do an Americanized version because it doesn't make sense. I think with Harry Potter, it works because it's British. No, but it makes sense. There's 
fucked. We had fucking people coming from Russia and exactly, France. Exactly, and France. So, come on. With this, with, this, this, with this year that I just played, there's three other countries. Oh, I mm -hmm. thought just Basebet said that American Remake. No, oh. not a remake. Not a remake. Just like oh, okay. extend the universe. Oh. But go to America. Oh, okay. I was going to um, work. I could see that. Yeah. Sorry, the translation. Fantastical Beasts, for those of you, spoiler alert. In New York. The guy from New York. Yep, that's oh, right. Oh, my okay. God. I can't watch the movies now. Yeah. <laughs> Same. I saw the first um, movie and it, I was like, "What the fuck?" By the, by the way, speaking of like transfer, this this is a funny story. Speaking of things crossing over from different countries, um, my son was really into Thomas the Tank Engine when he was really little, mm -hmm. and so we got him a bunch of different Thomas stuff. So obviously, you know, Thomas started off in the UK, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we ended up getting this like Thomas the Tank Engine stuff that was really old, but it was converted from the original British. So you had all the names there, right? Yeah. Sir Topham Hat is the American name of the character. And I shit you not, if you Google this, this is, <laughs> you, this, is this is this is accurate. So you see like Thomas, Henry, the, and then you get to Sir Topham Hatt, and the English version is, and I'm not making this up, the <laughs> Fat Controller. Yes. <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that, and that's getting remade. Oh, that's why you're so bad? It's getting remade by Cartoon Network now for kids. Oh my God, the fat we, or the fat director. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking oh, the fat no, no. controller. Oh, that note, though, I think we should end this here before it goes any further and I start driving myself fucking nuts. Whee! Uh, next time <laughs> I am live, I will probably be bringing you a new game. Ooh. Because I don't know if I can put myself through more of this <laughs> yep there's much more ptsd with these fucking lego games yeah and yet i want to get there and i want to sit there and get all of the star wars ones but um <laughs> 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 um but we shall be live again sometime soon well tomorrow jp is going live with more football so we're gonna have fun with that and then he's gonna re <laughs> He's gonna restart his franchise for the 18th time. <laughs> he does. He does. He's had like seven streams, and it's always the beginning of the franchise. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what corrupted. <laughs> it's killing me. That's because when we switched it over from my PlayStation 4 to our PlayStation 5, the save file got a bit corrupted. <laughs> oh no! Uh, it's the before worry. two on the regular. It's PS4. gonna happen again. He's, he's <laughs> never gonna get past game two of the franchise. I am gonna get tomorrow the change for their city. The day he sits there and plays through the first game of the franchise, so this way he gets to where he needs to be to continue on the season. But all I know is I'm looking forward to several menus. Yes. For a long Heather, period of time. If you haven't checked it out yet on the. Go check out Heather's recordings of his games that she does because those are fucking amazing. They're good stuff. Oh my gosh, especially like the noise that she adds in. <laughs> but yeah, that's over on JP's channel, so definitely go check that out. Also, keep your eyes open. We are going to be putting up a very new series here, which is not going to be gaming. It's going to be us. The first episode is going. The first two episodes actually. Is going to be us reviewing the Ghost Adventures show investigation of Joe Exotic Zoo. So, if any <laughs> of you on, have seen the Tiger King special on Netflix, you're going to want to check this out. Um, I'm not exactly sure when we're going to be able to get this up to you guys, but it, hopefully, it'll be very soon. Oh my God! Stop yelling. <laughs> Yeah, true. But after that, it is going to turn into a show where we talk about the most haunted places in America. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that as it is revealed. And yeah, I have no idea what's going on for Saturday or Sunday. We'll probably all be sleeping. So <laughs> no promises. Yeah. Who knows what we'll we may get a bug up our ass. And decide to play some Call of Duty because that's five years away from season two. So. Yeah. So. With that being said, y'all have a good night and we shall see you tomorrow.
Bon voyage. No, thank you.